Welcome back to the Lost in Talks podcast, episode 44, Most Lit Podcast. 44. 44, Most Lit Podcast. We're doing this on a Monday. Yeah. I don't even think that matters to you because you, you listen to matter. it whenever the fuck you do. So. They don't care. And also, they don't we, really care. right before this, we were also discussing how time doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, I mean, it matters like, for Ian because he's still got a job. I, I got a routine. Like, yeah, I have a pretty yeah. solid, I've been following the same routine for the past, like, three months now. Close to. The adult so, life. Yeah, I have like yeah. a little routine. It kind of staggers off here and there from different weeks, like this week, for example. But yeah. for the most part, it's kind of weird doing it on a Monday since we've done it Wednesdays consistently for like the past almost like a year, I think. Yeah. Getting what close is there to one year? September. Honestly, I think it's like, it might be like five or six pods from now. Yeah. Yeah. Zero. I think we've only missed one week. Right? Yeah. I mean, 52 weeks in a year. Yeah, so like nine mine more weeks yeah yeah that's lit good job boys <laughs> year <laughs> year yeah are we gonna start doing like uh like a good a good i don't mean to say good i shouldn't say that are we gonna start doing like a practiced intro ever like a like a consistent a consistent i should say intro? consistent like intro because we just i just either you do we it just or turn I it on it. and then we're like we're like yo <laughs> then ian says year <laughs> <laughs> I or mean, if we, we had the fucking soundboard. We, <laughs> yeah. can, we can start a podcast like that where we just spam, yeah. spam the fucking the board. Okay. This stuff when will we bring out. it back, the board. Yeah, I guess we should make an intro or something. Honestly, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I mean by going harder. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> we got big plans for the pod. We're talking like a possible rebrand, a possible. Not like the name change. We're gonna keep the name, but like just maybe a different type of look. Look in the since, basement. Since look we're overall. looking, since we're gonna be working on the basement look over the next couple yeah. weeks, and uh, probably gonna change the way the video is edited, and and uh, I guess the intro too, and all that shit. Yeah, Four we're cameras. Gonna, we're gonna. Four yeah, cameras. We'll setup. see. Yeah. I want a to. three sixty camera <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to be doing some new shit, uh, kind of revamping Some POVs? It. That'd be crazy. That'd be wild, bro. POV like one, potting? Yeah, yeah just, just one man just, you know? <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Back yo. And forth, arguing, yo. That'd be nasty. That was Zach. That should have been Zach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> should have fu put a fucking camera on his head. <laughs> That's hilarious. Don't kill me. But yeah, man. Monday pod. We're doing it today just because I got to go camping. So... And it was raining today. I was gonna leave today, and then so that yeah. I'd be back for Wednesday. This rain this year has been like the the most the yeah. shittiest because it just pops in hard. It pops in hard. Fifteen and, minutes and then, and then it's cut. Bro, yeah, Pause. it's uh, for anybody living in Florida that that's exactly what they're experiencing all the time. That's like a Florida thing. Florida showers. That's rain. like I mean, yeah, that's like tropical Tro weather. Tropical, yeah. but it, it's happening here. I mean, we've always had those like mini showers, but it seems to be like I was talking to him. Three to uh, two to three o'clock, we yeah. have like a shower for like thirty minutes, yeah. and then the it thing clears is, up, and then you get another one in the late evening. Yeah, yeah. but the thing is, is like, like when you fuck. got those like long, consistent ones that we're used to, that's when like the weather would cool down. So it's like yeah. usually we we would have like you know the hot week, then it would rain for like all of one day or whatever, and then it'd be cool for the next week, you know. Yeah. But now yeah. we're just. It's just, it's just staying hot. In. It's just dropping up. They're just dropping off some yeah. rain quick. So it's it's been hot for the like I swear all of July. It's been yeah. over thirty. Yeah, it's been. It's hot been a sport. really hot summer. Yeah. Yeah. Man. A hot. They summer. just they just do a quick raindrop for like 15, 20 minutes uh -huh. for the land dam for the plants. Yeah. <laughs> and then and just cuts. dry them up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just dry them up again, <laughs> yo. I had to water the plants after it rained today. Like, why? You know what I mean? That's dumb, yo. Dumb as fuck. But yeah. Um, I'm going camping, so I'm, it's gonna be fun. And I saw fun. a lot of people on Instagram saying like, "Oh, this is my first time going camping," you know, because they're the, like the you know the travel Instagrammers yeah. who get to travel every year. I'm like, "Yo, this is all we did." And then it's I realized I'm like, "Oh, this is why these fucking people know how to snowboard and surf and shit." Is because yeah. every year they were doing this when they were kids, but we all we did was go camping. Went camping. It's facts, nice. facts. Camp is fun. <laughs> if you haven't done camping, it's like change the scenery. Yeah, man. Turn off your phone. I would do it, or at least not look at. I don't look at it as yeah. much. I'm not. Most I mean, it's never usually good. Yeah, it's trash. Never good usually, reception. reception's yeah. trash, anyways. So usually, not really. I don't on know, it. but I, from what I've been seeing this weekend, it just seems like a lot of men are able to post up videos of them and the man in the cottage and uh -huh. hanging out, making music. You know, uh -huh. instead of focusing on the music. But hey, what do I know? What do you mean instead of focusing on the music? I'm calling on somebody. Yeah, what, what do you... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. 
<laughs> no, but no. Besides that, brother, what do you mean? They don't. They go to the cottage and yeah, they go hold- to that specific location. Okay. And <laughs> Jesus they Christ. they just seem to be focused more on showing off that there's that they're music. at a cool. But place. when you look at the the laptop, there's one bar, and that's just the beat. You know, that's a okay. that's a, <laughs> okay. That's a good point that. in general. I like that. I found that there's a correlation between artists who post yeah. them in the studio and their output of music. Yeah. Like the people who don't post in the studio all the time, they're obviously the ones who are in the studio all the time. Exactly. So they're the ones actually yeah. making music. Whereas the ones who post studios, it's like because they that's you can't get a song. Bro. Yeah, that's their once a month. You know? <laughs> so many people do that, and it's not even just music. Like yo, a yeah, lot on set. A uh, lot of girls do part time actors. Yeah. You know, like yeah. a lot of girls uh, do mo- this part time yeah, models. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of on uh, set, I was yeah. gonna say like it's so many girls on Instagram, dude. They be pulling up to the beach, and they'll like take a couple like little Instagram selfies in the water, and then they leave the beach like ten minutes later, yeah. Yeah, and they go fucking home <laughs> or wherever the fuck they go. It's been hot. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! I've, w- I've seen this shit with my two eyes. I've seen girls pull up to a beach, whatever Woodbine, or even like I was up north, a little farther up north, and it was like a town beach, and like these girls pull up, they start taking a couple photos. On the- they were there, they lay their towel down, they look around, they went, they went up to their like their knees in the water, took a couple photos, laid down for ten minutes, and then left. And then I walked it when I was leaving, like, three hours later. I saw them, like, in the fucking, like, grass all the way back or some shit. I was like, what the fuck? Like, some weird-ass behavior, yo. Trust, <laughs> I was like, trust it wasn't even a hot day, bro. It was, like, 25 degrees. That's wasn't... how people are, though, you know. <laughs> people like to post on the gram. I get it. Yeah. They were there for I'm just 20 not a minutes. poster, you know. I guess, yeah, that's the thing. Like, we, it's hard for us to empathize with, like, what, you know, what... A social like what inst- social media life is mm-hmm. uh, yeah. during the quarantine now because we've never had to we didn't have to uphold this reputation that we're travelers or you know going to all these cool places all the time because we never posted shit like that so yeah. it's like we can if we do post on Instagram it's still the same shit that we've always been posting because exactly. we're still doing all the same shit where it's like now these people who were their bread and butter was the vacation pics that they recycled the for the two trips they took in one year. Yep. And then we know like, about you girls. <laughs> and then even like, you know, just restaurants being Probably. closed. Like that was usually yep. the daily grind, right? Like yep. snap a, a coffee a in the morning, a, a, whatever, a salad at lunch, some kind mm-hmm. of steak shit at, at night. Trying to you make know? yourself look healthy. Yeah. You posted up that picture of the salad you ate three months ago. <laughs> yeah. But you're eating a burger. <laughs> we know. We know you have, you, we know you went on one trip this year. <laughs> You know, but you had twenty bikinis, and now it's just getting exposed. <laughs> now it's just because now everybody's like, "Wait, you, you? We know you didn't. You you're not here right you now. You know you didn't go anywhere. Yeah, dude. like unless you really trying to self isolate for like I've been, fourteen I've been days. I've seen some of these girls trying time. to get away with it too. <laughs> really, I've been seeing some girls. There's a few. I don't want to call you out by your ads, but I've been seeing you post up the pics. I've been seeing some girls post up the pics that they're on. That they went on a trip. Bro, because like, because flights are technically back up right yeah, now, yeah, so it's like yeah. exactly. now it's even more. Because if you post travel pics, now it's like, oh shit, you're elite. Yeah, you're elite. You yeah, must be like, like rich. Yeah, like, you must have level. something to do. Yeah. And I'm like, no, <laughs> like, shit. They let you out. I the remember. Country. I remember that sand. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I mean, hell? I mean, what if you could somehow justify that? Um, you know how they let you leave if it's like for business. What if you're like, well, I'm an influencer. Like, I'm. I need to travel to make money or whatever. And it is. It could, is. Could business. you justify that? Could yeah. you justify that? Maybe you could justify. Maybe that. I'm, not, I'm not trying to ditch. I feel like some of them have are to, doing that. Yeah, I'm sure. Like those clothing brands and shit are probably flying out models right now. That's what I'm saying. Stuff, yeah, right? it's like, possible. Yeah, it's possible, or or not. They're, they're, they're just like recycling photos, bro. Was there's it? there's a phenomena, or I don't know what to call it, about like why why does every Toronto girl shorty whatever you want to call fucking rent a boat and float around <laughs> near the Toronto Islands because I think they're in Miami bro this is like a fuck I, I kid you not every fucking girl that is like a somewhat hot shit on Instagram is doing this at some point in the summer I've seen some of the buckets people you know, who aren't because people who aren't from Toronto think it's a flex yeah they, and it's some next flex the people who are in Toronto aren't gonna call them out because we I think they're bad so, yeah. I can bomb your boat <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bro, we I'm telling you this afternoon. Some, there's something like some sort of weird flex about 
rent and these boats are not that expensive. There's like some there's some resource there's some sites that you can rent out boats for like three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars a day. Lost in boats? Yeah. You can rent a boat a yacht. Lost at sea, yo? <laughs> That'd be sick. That's good. You can yeah. rent a boat. Lost at a lake. <laughs> and a dude will drive it for you for like three hundred dollars. That's not that bad. We might have to do that. And they'd be splitting that with like six people. All right, let's do it's it. It's actually yo, not a lot. I'm ready for We the stop boat. the boat in the middle of but, the yeah, lake and just do a pod? For the people yeah. who don't know that, it's like some weird flex where you look like you're rich or some shit because you're on a boat. Yeah, it's just a bunch Even of girls though, like, that are with a man that rented the boat. Yeah. And they just yeah. think that he has money because they don't know he rented the boat and inside the sea because he's probably smashing. He's not even driving the thing, though, because all these the boats come with capital. And, like, any, yeah. anybody could, like, we could afford that. I mean, if, we, if, we, if that's teams. in our price range, then any fucking per- person can get on man. a boat this yeah. summer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> these girls don't know that, realistically, I don't have, I actually, I will say, my credit, guys, my credit's gone up. I'm in, I'm in a good space. Congrats, congrats. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um... But with our credit, we can go pick up a Mercedes today. Realistically, yes. Go pick up a few whips today. But they don't know. The girls don't know this. Yeah, if you're trying to make fat fucking payments. Yeah, but I can make those fat fucking payments and then just run away. (laughs) <laughs> you know, yeah, and then your credit is gone <laughs> credit again. It's gone again. But that's just to make a point. I'm trying to buy a condo or a house at some point in my life. I need but, credit. But like th- that is what some people do. Yeah, though, man, like. that is what some people do. Though they just they just yeah. say fuck it, bro. Yeah, and they just do it. You know, I've been seeing chromas <laughs> out here. Whose boat is that? Because you know it's not hers, bro. We know you, chromas. I don't want. How do I not like be? I shouldn't even say chromas because if I start talking about chromas, Ian gets excited. (laughs) (laughs) No, like I just never mind. I can't. I'm I'm, yeah. No comment. No comment. No comment. No comment. But we see what chromas is doing. Like you know what I mean. It's the same type of thing. It's just girls out here just trying to have a good time, and I get it. Yo, girls just want to be fun. You know. Mm Or, or want to have fun, sorry, not be fun. Yeah, it's the summer. It's the summer. I get it. You want to go out. The man them are just trying to get fucked and trying to live life. And I get it, yeah. Everybody has to do their thing. But then know? life's going to hit them in the face. It's the, at some point. Yeah, man. But it's not it's Shit, none of my yo. business because it's not my life. I should have saved a little bit of money. Fuck. <laughs> Might as well think that until it's too late, you know? Yeah. I was, watching, uh, 90, That's why. I was watching 90 Day Fiance with my girl the other, yesterday. And... Um, there's this dude, he's from Korea, and he got his girl that he got pregnant to move out to Korea. And he told her, yo, I got all this money and shit for you. Don't worry, we got a place. She pulls up, they're in the fucking hood. <laughs> and the house is shit, it's trash. And this girl's from America, and she's pulling up, she's like, I don't even feel safe here. And then the guy starts telling her that, yo, I don't even, I never even saved money. Like, I've been using a good amount of the money that you've been sending me to shit. put aside for our baby stuff, I've been spending Jeez. that by myself. Jeez. And I'm like, that sucks, man. And you know why? It's because he fucked himself and he has like 30K in debt because he did some stupid shit. Why did he bring her out then? Because he's dumb. And he's just, <laughs> he thought he could finesse it. He thought he could finesse it. He's there sitting at his mom's house crying about how he knows he's fucked up. And he's actually admitting to everything he's done, which is nice to see. Yeah. But um, his mom's like, yeah, like, fuck. <laughs> like, all, she's like all you could do is change like yeah. like that's all you could do but that's what happens when you just go out and you live life frivolously frivolously and don't take into consideration yeah i the guess future. the the best thing that could happen to you in that case is that like you break down and you realize what what yeah. you got yourself into sometimes you got to hit those lows you yeah. know which sucks that it's so late with 30k yeah you know but hey 30k 30K, 30k ain't man. that bad. It's not that bad. You can get out of that. Most, you can, you most can get out of that. But 30, most, uh, sorry to cut you off. Most students have more debt than that. Thousand percent. But yeah. it's th- that's still a good chunk of change, you know? I have. Yeah. How much debt do I got? You don't. I, I'm going to say, I don't give a fuck. Like, whatever. It's, it's school debt. Like, you know what I mean? I mean, yeah. Most, anyone under 30, uh, most people under 30 have it. I got, so. like, I got like 15, 15 Under 35, K. probably, I'd say. Yeah, Even yeah. lawyers still pay off their debts into, yeah, like, into their 40s, into I their think. Into their 40s. Yeah. And doctors, they too. They could probably pay it off faster, but... And I'm paying, I'm, is pretty I'm nice paying off my debt so. with a with a regular retail job, <laughs> like you know what I mean, yeah, and, yeah, a, yeah. and a couple and a couple gigs, like it's yeah, it's yeah, nothing yeah. crazy. Yeah, I mean, even if you're take even if you're making good money, you're probably going to take the close to the full amount of time. Or a chunk of it. Yeah, the interest here in Canada is like not that bad. That's why mm-hmm. I don't know what it's like in other countries, but well, in the states, it's just like the tuition's even way more too, right? Like even yeah. just a an undergrad, it's like. A hundred thousand, because it's like twenty thousand a year for any school, basically. Yeah. Like that's wild. I don't know. I think 
Yeah, I don't know. Like those those people who have like rich parents or something paying for it or some shit. Well, that's why that in the states, that's that culture of like, oh, we gotta save this college save up fund for, for this. your ki- yeah. yeah. Here, like, that's a here thing, it's you know? not really it's every not as fucking much as game a thing show. Here. It's like, yeah, I'm saving this for my kids. You know, this college fund. Yeah, because like America parents, sucks. Parents have <laughs> to do that to yeah. like make their kid like actually probably have like a life of yeah. some sort. Otherwise, here, I mean, parents just rely on OSAP most of the time yeah unless they really really like got expendable income which they can just be like all right yeah, all right johnny people... you can here's 20k yeah i feel like it's one or the other with most people it's <laughs> like, either you're on osap or you, you got the shit paid for you know it's taken care of or i would say two it's uh or it's the third one is you you're focused enough to go to school and also pay off your tuition because a lot of people do that as well. No, I wouldn't say a lot, but a good amount, a good handful of people that I know. So much money though. Have done that. They've been able to work enough. To they do worked. It? They That's worked crazy. and paid off each year of school. Yeah, it must be finished. like grind and hard. Yeah, my girl did that. She did not that. Not every. I feel like not every course you could do that because some courses are way more demanding. Thousand percent for studying and stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know Thousand hard percent. it would be. Some of them too. Like you get the co-op, right? So it's like okay, you okay. Get, yeah. it's a lot. And you do some get people paid. get paid. Yeah. Oh, that's facts. Too. Like if you do, um, my boy did engineering at Waterloo, and like he got a lot of pay. Yeah, those computer jobs. Yeah, like because like, he was getting you, more. He's making more than me now on an internship. I swear, like, <laughs> <laughs> like every cool. like even just first year, those guys get like internships and they get paid like sixty k, bro. On yeah, like because it's like it's like those fucking holy fuck. Even trades, jobs. even trades. Like yeah. once you're out, once like you're done your stuff inside the classroom, you get you get set up with an internship or whatever. You get paid for that because you're like, working. Holy fuck! You're already making sixty k. Like you could literally you could probably like drop out right now. <laughs> no. But the problem is they probably wouldn't. Anything those, those 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 a lot of those companies want your you'd have a degree, but. Yeah. Fuck most people. Most most people never make sixty k a year. So yeah, <laughs> when the average is around forty five, fifty, around here. So it's so fucked up. Yeah, it's <laughs> fucked up. Um, is what it is. Save your money. Yeah, that's the lesson for today. Don't please. don't if you and if you can't if you want to live lavishly, guess want to pay it for you. <laughs> Be a sugar baby. Exactly. Yeah. Otherwise, I can't hate on that that much. I'm more hating on the dude who's paying for it. Yeah. Like you a simp. <laughs> yeah. There are a lot of simps out here. Man. Oh. Is that a whole other conversation? That's... Like simp nation? Uh, <laughs> we I mean, a... don't need to hate on the simps, but there's a lot of simps out here that are just, you But know... like, I feel like with OnlyFans culture or whatever you want to call it. I don't it, think those guys are, they're simps, but not all of them are like, simps. But like, has, like, has there always been this many simps out there? There's or always OnlyFans been. exposed the no, simps, bro? There's always been this many what simps. What were the simps doing before OnlyFans? They're on Reddit. <laughs> what making, were they making paying forums for, about IG models? Like paying, like straight paying for feet pics. They're buying their shit. Yeah, they're doing that in Amazon wish lists. Amazon wish lists, feet pics, going on the sugar daddy apps or whatever. Yeah, man, they've been around. Yeah. This whole time. Okay. This isn't new. OnlyFans is a new, like very straightforward outlet for the simps. I don't know, man. As long as you're supporting the content creators, I'm all for it. Okay. Again, with everything that we've been talking if about. If you want to label it like that, sure. I saw that look at it. Like, <laughs> because with everything that we've been figuring out slowly with Pornhub and everything that's going on there where shit's not necessarily censored, you know what I mean, or being filtered, I might as well or even just, you go know, a gr- better route. <laughs> even, even, yeah, even just like concerns with our own industries, like music yeah. industry. Like how, you know, it, it would be yeah. nice to have like an OnlyFans for music. I mean, I you guess it's mean? like Bandcamp. But like, but I, mean, I like, don't hate only on fans the whole OnlyFans like, thing. Cause I'm OnlyFans just like, is like one of the biggest things now. And it's like, yeah. it's good for those people. Right? But the OnlyFans got the reputation of uh, like sex. Yeah, and I'm sure they didn't necessarily want that. But with that logo... <laughs> I don't. It seems, I don't see. I don't, yeah, but neither like, did Snapchat. Neither I don't even did, know what a CEO uh, is. But you know? like, you and the thing with Snapchat is doing. like Snapchat. At first, they didn't want it, and then that's what blew them up, and then it became something else. Yeah, and then Instagram's Snapchat you know, was like an app that became a way for like young adults and like even teens. Yeah, it's like the same thing with OnlyFans, like right? Sex, it's like it wasn't. It was an app for was uh, celebrities, app, and then. Yeah, the the Sims find a way, you know, like that. That's they always it, do. It's, yeah, <laughs> to like turn it. In, you know, that's the thing with apps. It's like you sometimes you never know what 
what the what you what you thought the original purpose for the app was you never know if that's what what it's going to end up being right why, yeah. why you is just got to run you ride the wave why is the you know? ceo of only fans like a fucking model does he have his own only fans probably <laughs> what yeah. the fuck know, he has to support his own business of course bro, that's the ceo fans. of only fans the fuck yeah he's fine bro <laughs> <laughs> dude that's hilarious i'm not gonna say pause on that one <laughs> i am comfortable in my sexuality bro what the fuck <laughs> Wait, that can't be him. Tim Stokely. That's it. That's him. Okay, it says right there. It's Tim Tim Stokely. Well, yeah, but with that, with that logo, it's definitely an adult. Cause like the unlock. Yeah, man. It's they a, didn't like the way uh, that F looks. How's the F backwards? You know what I mean? That looks like sex. There's like a and like it's only, like a sophisticated like only as a very Madison logo. Yeah. only as a very sex only. word, especially with internet. You know, like when you say like eighteen only. You know, like yeah. it's it's very associated with sex. Like in the internet culture, right? Yeah, so exactly. I'm pretty sure they probably were. They, they, I feel like they knew a little bit more of like the the sex possibility rather mm. than like Snapchat might have not known at all like that that's what it was gonna turn into. But mm. I feel like OnlyFans when they were coming up, like they they knew like it was yeah we can market it like this for the PG people, but then also we know what we're gonna yeah. get our money from. I don't know. I'm down to support some OnlyFans stuff, some content because simply because. Bro, again, oh, they knew, not filtered. Bro, this, this, I just read the history right there that explains everything. In 2018, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna butcher his name, but it's basically uh, one of the owners of OnlyFans was the owner of My Free Cams. Okay, so that makes yeah, sense. So he owned the the guy who owns My Free Cams owns 75 percent of OnlyFans. This oh. was indeed meant to be an adult entertainment perfect then. website. There's no fucking. Or it was a thing where it's like, you know, they they thought it was an idea for celebrities and nobody was. Nobody was taking the idea, and then this guy was like, I'll give you a ridiculous amount of money, but make it more like a sex app. And they're yeah. like, yeah, fuck it. It could have been like that, too. Yeah. You know? but the original idea might not have been sex. Yeah. It might have been just like like another version of Patreon. Yeah, exactly. And then... Um, and then this is the thing, too. Like, yeah. Patreon had to adapt, right? Because of what OnlyFans... Or not adapt, but like, they had to kind of incorporate that aspect of it, too, because that's not something that they but were... are they doing... Oh, yeah, they are. They are. Never mind. Patreon's set up. Patreon's not set up the same way as OnlyFans. Yeah. Actually, like, Patreon's more. I feel like it's more organized. Yeah. Well, because they're older, right? Like it is yeah. more. Yeah. Like, it's more it's organized. More like, yeah. It feels like an actual platform. OnlyFans still kind of. But like, I feel like Patreon got into that aspect of it because of what OnlyFans yeah. started yeah, doing. Right? Like people on Patreon started uh, doing it too. OnlyFans as a company still kind of sketches me out because they do some sketchy shit, bro. Like not paying taxes, and there's mm-hmm. like some sketchy. But corp- Amazon doesn't pay taxes. There's like some ske- <laughs> sketchy corporate shit. No, no, they're actually like behind on taxes. Amazon doesn't pay taxes because they finesse the system. OnlyFans literally owes tax money. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. Like they owe it. Like yeah. they owe millions of dollars. Apparently. I swear, like we could tax- we could avoid tax at this point. Don't you just need to set up a fucking bank in the Caribbean or some shit, or like That's what I'm saying. or like a Swiss or yeah. And just send that shit elsewhere. Yeah. There's like those tax havens or whatever, right? Yeah. That's how they do it. They set up an office in those. Well, they get an address and be like, "This is our headquarters" or whatever. On the topic of tax, what I've what I understand is that if you're an influencer or a YouTuber, uh, you very well have the ability to write off a lot of the shit you buy, thus lowering your us salary, too. Is like as as a freelance artists, we could do that too. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. So it's like you could literally like if you're an influencer, you could literally buy a Lamborghini. Say your salary is like say you made like say in 2020 you made like $200,000, right? And you bought like a Lamborghini or whatever. You could literally write the Lamborghini off and then you can almost subtract close to like 100 whatever the Lamborghini cost off your salary. So then you didn't make 2000 $200,000 this year. You made like 100,000. And that's your salary now. Yeah. And then you only get taxed for 100000 Yeah. Because you bought the Lamborghini. So yeah. Lamborghini is tax-free. Because it's not, it's not part of your income anymore. That's what we got to get into. Yeah. So basically, like... Big bags. Basically, you could lower your tax bracket. It's different in Canada, but in the U.S., you could literally... As an influence, you could lower your tax bracket as low as, like, 50 k even though mm-hmm. you made 300 k Yeah. You just raise like, it off. Yeah. You just right write it off. Your, you right just down write to your off. lunch. <laughs> you could write off by buying shit. Yeah. Yeah. Right? That's and funny. claiming it as an expense. Because as an influencer or a YouTuber or whatever, what the fuck is an expense? Like, everything's kind of like an you expense. You could just say, I made a yeah. I'm making a, I'm using, I need it for a video. I'm making yeah. a fucking prank video. I need a Lamborghini. Like, yeah. Yeah. The fuck? Like, you need lunch that afternoon? I'm making a yeah, video food, about my lunch. Yeah, food is easy to write off. Like, things like that. And you can, you literally get lower on tax. You pay less tax. Yeah. Like, Jake Paul could easily pay as much tax as some dude making 40k a year. 
and Jake Jake Paul makes millions. Especially because their you know income I mean? is so like like it's even though it is monitored. It yeah, it's like so like you know yeah. you you. It's not something where it's like okay yeah like. I mean, we're starting to get the literacy about like you know based on how many subscribers people have you can get like an estimate probably of like yeah. how much they're making but it's still like you know yeah like the most popular youtuber you don't know if they're making 500 million or like 2 million you know Jake like paul is making a lot like yeah dude, those fucking fights he sets up with ksi or whoever he's fighting those are big i, I would bro, say that's that's how much money is making of off those? YouTube, bro. Yeah. yeah, but that's like some. But his fame is able to bring that. Yeah, money. they don't need to like disclose. Like they, the numbers get out, but they don't need to disclose the exact numbers for those shits, right? Yeah. So it's like you don't know how much money these guys are pulling in because it's all these random sources of income, right? And they're writing the shit off. Too. Dude has like ten streams of income easily. Yeah. Like that's from, what you need from like everything. People, if you don't know this, you need multiple streams of income. That's just, fact. Just, yeah. just your knowledge of the day because a lot of people think that they can do something with their lives with their one job nah you like sorry no you need a couple even if you have the best job in the world the most high paying job you can lose it no, at any you time you can lose that shit any moment so you might as well fall back on something you can lose at any time you need multiple streams of income i would say minimum three yeah minimum three minimum three and on top of that investments that's building interest yeah so whether that's stocks or property real estate something like that Mm-hmm. That's building interest over time, uh, or whatever a four hundred one k if you're American, uh, something like that, um, and then yeah, three like at least three streams of income, mm-hmm. and that could be your main job, a side hustle, and like I don't know some something that's passive. I don't know. It's hard to say. What, surveys. Whatever, whatever it might be. <laughs> Those online surveys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, giving blood. Yeah, you giving know, blood. I don't semen. Know. <laughs> Sperm bank, yeah. something like that something yeah. like that maybe whatever you you, you have a main job so you, you sell t-shirts or something some shit i've kind of wanted to do that the uh yeah. the prescription like you know the the medical trial shits yeah. that seems like a fun thing to do for a little bit you know like a couple months yeah, you get a, a few months you get yeah. a little fuck up like a little upset stomach a couple yeah. of rashes but you make like 5k or something i'm about that life, yeah bro. i'm about that life well you could have did the one where you, where you get covid <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be and too the, bad. Still, they'll pay like, you like three. I swear, I was hearing like five G's or something. Yeah, but it was in the UK though. So I don't mm. know how you're. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I heard a study something about five thousand dollars for a couple of weeks if you get COVID for that's, testing. Oh no, man, that's a little cheap though. Can I? Can we maybe make like a wager? Like <laughs> we bargain. COVID lasts what two weeks? If that, it depends. Yeah, and it depends on unless yeah. it hits you bad. At least give me five racks a week. <laughs> They wanted like young people to do it, obviously. That's people who are not gonna like likely die from it. Yeah. So I don't care though. Like, give me five racks. A five week. racks? Five racks a week. Two weeks? Five racks a week. Yeah. And I'm fine with that. Yeah. yeah, it's just with this current climate, guys, like you can't and I'm sure a lot of you know it, but you just can't your job. You could lose that job at any time, man. I wish I made like at least a five bills off that sickness we all had in the end of the year yeah, last yeah. year. Sure. We sh- everybody should have got paid for that. You know, like, everybody got sure, sick bro, off that. Yeah, holy feeling? fuck. Unless you have the I most needed five bills. <laughs> <laughs> just cause, you know, like not even for anything. Just that, yeah. That COVID we had, you know, early. <laughs> Shit, man. You guys that was on the pod. You know? Max know we all Ooh. had COVID on the pod. That's that we was the worst we pod, yo. Yeah. Guys weren't here. Like, <laughs> yeah. the it was the sick pod. Yeah, the sick and that pod. was after that was, like a, after, that was after a week of all of us remember. recovering too. Like there yeah. could have been a pod where we were the the real sick Oz pod, and yep. that would have just been us dying. Exactly, it could have ended bad. Mans were seeing visions, yo. I was, <laughs> I was yo. I prayed to God. <laughs> I prayed, yo. That should have been a sign that yo something's ch- something about the world is gonna change yo because once you go through a sickness like that it's I'm like weak. I was naive yeah <laughs> it was... makes so much sense now like you don't go through something like that and the Make world it. yeah and the world you know doesn't just go up on its on its head you know exactly just do it do your thing don't worry oh. I'm gonna talk don't worry well off the quickly off the pod we were talking about. Like can't people getting canceled, cancel culture. Yeah. I guess that's gonna be a topic for the pod for a little bit. Um Cancel Culture. Uh I mean it's it's something that's been happening for several years online. I like to think it it it, it really has a lot of uh influence over Twitter. Um, but internet in general. Uh Twitter seems to be the hot spot of like where it happens. Because the hashtags, or yeah, the things like that it's usually, very, yeah. very easy to spread, and I mean, some of it is misinformation, and some of it is isn't. And well, when thing something trends on Twitter, no yeah. other platform has that type of like immediate. 
when there's like something that pops and everybody jumps yeah. to it and then it just becomes right. huge in like five yeah. minutes you know yeah. things don't spread or things not things don't um people don't flock to one thing as quickly on twitter as anywhere else you know mm-hmm. because of the mm-hmm. that twitter, kind of trending culture twitter yeah the trending culture twitter is weird like twitter is it's so easy to jump to a conclusion on twitter by just reading a couple retweets, couple tweets about something. Just a little thread. Without yeah. any fact checking behind the scenes. Yeah. And like the smart people will do a little bit of digging before they get a, like an opinion. But a large majority of people who are part of canceling certain people will just read a couple tweets and, and be like, retweet. all right, this is. Yeah. And then retweet it yeah. to be part of the issue and then just create basically a big mob yeah that has this opinion and it's kind of about like, someone it's which like, we don't actually know is if is it true yet yeah and, and it's like i don't think i'm like the most researched person but i'll do the google search you know like yeah. i'll do a quick google search quick google search to see if, see if there's any a headline notable, i don't even click on the notable headline headlines. i just need to see if the new york times yeah. write about exactly. it exactly the toronto star write about if it. it's only a tmz you know? article no it didn't no, have, it's not confirmed I mean? yet. like it's not confirmed you know? yet yeah so you, you just check the facts before like but the twitter culture is very easy to just like bring Bring, bring up an opinion or a, or a conclusion right off the bat after seeing, you know, 10,000 retweets. It must be true. Like, yeah. well, 10,000 retweets is like something that could happen in an hour mm-hmm. on Twitter if people just jump to the conclusion have you, yeah, have you that's seen something being real. Have like a viral so, tweet that has like 10K, 100K. Yeah. And then like you look at their their page and it's still only, they only have like 2,000 followers or yeah. something. Yeah, they're just like a regular yeah, person. Like a viral tweet can happen literally to anybody. Yeah. At it any really time. can. And it's most of the time it doesn't do much for those people. It's a pro and a con to Twitter. Yeah. Pro meaning like that could be sick. Like you can get a little bit of viral content coming out, but also like you could easily ruin someone's life without even getting the full facts and and people have like been seriously affected by like uh you know uh, misinformation being retweeted on twitter mm-hmm. don't get me wrong there's people who got canceled who really done fucked up shit and that's a you know so that's the good part about it too thing. where it's like you know sometimes you couldn't get to the outlets but then twitter has been able to provide a voice where you know yeah. multiple people can come together and like be like you know they might have not known each other and it's like no yeah like this same thing ha- you know so it's like it's good to like a meeting place yeah. you know where that's never happened before but yeah like there is also so easy for misinformation to spread right yeah it's, it's only it's so recently side. twitter started censoring misinformation and that had more to do with polit- po- politics and stuff because mm-hmm. politics on twitter is huge right so like, when is uh cult- cancel culture okay when is it okay mm-hmm. i think the question is, is it, is it okay at all? I think it's okay in some scenarios. And very, I think, I think like most I of the time. I think the way we've been, not we, but a lot of people have been using it as of the last few years has not been right though. Cancel culture seems to be you are guilty until proven innocent. Right off the bat. It almost seems like that, right? Mm-hmm. Right? Which yeah, is not yeah. how the law works he, technically here. Yeah. You're technically innocent until proven guilty in normal law. Mm-hmm. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Like, so, but like, and especially with like, and a lot of cancel culture is like uh, sexual assault and, and very sensitive well, that's things a, that it, anger yeah. uh, people. That's the problem, right? That's, it's like, you know, it's always like, it's always these fine line type of yeah. cases. And then you're like, okay, so it's like, all right, yeah, like this is where we draw the line. You know, it's like if you if this is what happened to you, then cancel culture is okay. If it's like if it's yeah. here, then it's like you know we still got to hear all the. Fa- it's like it's really hard to know, and like I feel like in the like especially because now you know uh, three years ago we didn't even hear the term cancel culture, right? Like it's something now where it's like mm-hmm. we kind of know what it is, but we don't know the extent. You know, like mm-hmm. to like we don't know the rules within the rules, kind of mm-hmm. thing. Like and. Like, people don't know how to act. You know, like, this this Meg Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez thing. Like, people, we were talking about, like, people just don't know what the protocol is yeah. because there is no Prius. Like, the only thing that seems close to this is the Chris Brown case. And these are, like, completely yeah, different. Because like, we, we don't know what happened with the Meg Thee Stallion yeah. thing, right? <laughs> yeah. It's like, we know, we know everything that happened in that Lamborghini with yeah. Chris Brown and Rihanna, like, the last five minutes or whatever right like but with this we don't know and it's like even if it was a cookie cutter case it's like w- like is this the same thing that happened with with other things that have happened in cancel culture especially yeah. you know what was happening when the me too movement was like it, i mean it's still going on it's but it's like going. that's the thing is like there's so many different movements that have been 
tossed together into this cancel culture thing and it's kind of hard to know how to act around people because it's like once you hear somebody's name get brought up in this thing it's like okay yeah like we're giving them that same energy that we've been given everybody you know and it's like it, we we know that there's differences but like we don't know how to regulate them right mm. Mm-hmm. I feel like um, when it comes to cancel culture, me personally, I don't fully agree with it. Yeah, there are little moments where, yeah, you can cancel somebody. And I feel like those are more when it's more obvious. Yeah, like I feel so, like there's the ones with there's there's multiple accusers. Yeah. There's, you know, I wouldn't even say I wouldn't even say a multiple accusers. Or just like I would say when, willful, it's when somebody like, did something clear, straight up. Yeah, exactly. Like there's yeah. a very clear like, yeah, this we literally saw like we saw you say racist shit on Twitter. Yeah, for example. Yeah, yeah. Or like very there's clear. literally a video a video of you calling some dude the N word for no apparent reason. Yeah. yeah you know what like I mean? Yeah. Very clear evidence. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm just caught on tape, for example, is like yeah. a very clear evidence of something. Yeah. That happened, right? Exactly. Um, a lot of it, a lot of it though, is he said, sh- he said, she said, or whatever. Hearsay. Some, some hearsay. hearsay yeah. Sorry. Whatever. Yeah. Pro- yeah. Same thing. Whatever yeah. the pronoun- pronouns might be. Um, People but, still use that. He said. She said. It's like oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's okay. Okay. Sorry. Man. <laughs> it's good. I bro, it's tough times. I know, bro. <laughs> Shit changes so fast. <laughs> and that's the thing here. too. It's like because it's, I'll it's, wake up and we wouldn't we this wouldn't be so nervous, but it's because of the topic we're talking about. Yeah. Like we're trying to, you know, we're not yeah, trying yeah. to say. I'm not the trying wrong to get thing. canceled. <laughs> yeah. Like you can get canceled just by talking about cancel culture in the wrong way. Bro, you know. Exactly. You get canceled from a tweet you made when you were 16, bro. Yeah. And that's and that's where cancel culture makes no complete sense because you know, like I'm I'm all for. Even 16, change. just like 2009. Yeah, everybody, man. like 30 year olds were fucked up in 2009. Exactly. Like we're everybody was just up. fucked up. You know what I mean? Like, Bro, all fucked up. Yeah. Um, I just, where did like when did this all happen? Is it just a slow progression or what? it's a slow? Pro- it's who what it made is. The rules, man. It, like, what it is, and rules? I'll tell you what cancel culture is. Go on. It's a group of people that have had things happen to them. Yes. Right. Bad and this things. is many different groups of people. I get it. It comes from a place of trauma. A it comes from it, a place of trauma. A lot of it does. I get right? it. Right? And I, and I understand that. It comes from a place of trauma. And what it, where it's being twisted is the in the emotion. A lot of it is emotion based. And yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? It's, it's coming from emotion. So now and jokes, then, certain yeah. jokes aren't funny. We're not able to say certain things because people are taking these things. And it's, I'm not saying they shouldn't be taken seriously, but you're taking them a lot more serious than we used to. Yeah. We used to, uh, again, and I'm going to use me as an example because I don't mind throwing myself under the train for the world. Jeez. To be an example. Facebook, early Facebook days, and I have, and I have, I think we, I don't know if I talked about this on the podcast before, if I, we just talked about this off, but I remember I had screenshots, literally, from my Facebook memories of shit that I was saying to people, people were saying to me, I was being called the N word by my friends, genuine friends. You yeah. know what I mean? On Facebook, Man, gonna start digging on right. my wall. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> not, are, not black friends. Not black friends. Yeah. Yeah. These are people that are that are in positions today, have good jobs. I've caught at about any them. moment. I could just <laughs> yeah, I could end your life, but there's no need to because I was Jeez. in that shit too. I would use the the other F word. You know the the one that. Uh, the the gay community. You could just say the like, yeah, you, could just, you know what I mean. Yeah, people know that. Yeah, because yeah, you could actually, say fuck. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck isn't even the f word anymore. Yeah, the other yeah. f word. But the I f used, word is the f word now. Mads you know? used to use that word freely. Yeah. Everybody. I'm not. I'm not going to talk for these guys. But everybody. We used to use it. Mads used to use I it. I mean, like <laughs> learn. You know, I've learned the difference now. And exactly. It's, like, it's a thing where it's like, the, like the n word, the f word. It's a thing now where it's like. There are enough people now who are upset by it, where it's just like it just—it's not worth it. It's to say not it. worth it. It's not. It's it, not. it doesn't. It's like it's not something that I needed to say, so it it didn't need to be said. Yes. But no, there was a right. time five, ten years ago where pe- people were more comfortable with it. Yeah. And it's hard to know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's obvious because it's not like we. Obvi- it's not that we were intolerant to, no, to gay and that's people what I'm saying. or exactly. black people at the time when there we were was saying all those of- things, right? So, and it's like. Yeah, it's it's hard to yeah it's hard to know if you should feel guilty for saying it because there was a lack of context or like mm, but yeah. you knew that there were people that you were saying it to where they weren't taking offense exactly. to it so it's kind of exactly and yeah. even I'll even let's go back to the even the n word thing when it comes to a lot of black people 
um, you don't just grow up necessarily around other black people. Sometimes you'll have a white kid from the hood. Sometimes you have a brown kid from the hood. You know what I mean? And those white Especially kids or brown kids, for example, we could use like a Nav, for example, who was saying the N word a lot in his songs. Yeah. And he was saying the N word a lot in his songs because probably grew that's up like we that. grew up. That's around, how he yeah. grew up. You yeah. know what I mean? He grew up in an area where me, a black person, somebody so that Rex looked Dale. like me, was like. like yeah, bro, your family. You are yeah. you're my you're my nigga. Like it's fine. I used you know it on mean? old Gen Squad tracks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Every, at least once a week, I think. Like, yo, am I gonna get canceled you're for that? Get canceled yeah. that's right now, yo. But that's what I'm saying. I feel like Sam for use it too, bro. Exactly, <laughs> yo, man. So we're all out here. You know what I mean? <laughs> and that's why I'm saying we need to be we need to be more. <laughs> Shit, dog. When it comes to cancel culture, the the bad thing about it is that you're not. It feels like you're not able to grow from your mm. past. I, I was in. We had Facebook before high school. Yeah. Of course, I'm going to say wild shit on the internet because you feel like you just say it on the internet and it disappears after 24 hours like a fucking snap. That's how we <laughs> grew up on the you internet. Think, yeah. You ever think like someone's digging through your tweets 10 years later or... Or, or, or even 20. <laughs> or Facebook. Uh, <laughs> yo, you really got to... People got to go back and visit that shit. Bro, you know, yeah. Like, you know on Twitter when like, yeah. uh, like a basketball tra- player got traded or something, yeah. somebody will pull up a tweet from like 2011 being like, yo, yeah. this team is trash. And yeah. that's the team that they got traded to. It's like, who the fuck found that tweet? Like, exactly. how did you go? Some mans are really big. Yeah. That's, that's what you need to understand. When it comes to cult, cancel culture, people, Don't have social it's not media. cool. <laughs> it's not, it's not, right it's now. not, it doesn't help your cause in cancel culture when you're searching for a problem. That's mm. like your girl trying to look through your phone to find like, some to find something. Text, you texted some girl, some flirty shit. Yeah. Like, like you know, a, a couple a, years ago. A while back. Or whatever. And it's still in your phone and it's a problem with her. Yeah. If you understand what that's that feeling example. is like when somebody's searching for uh, something to hold up against you. That's not how the cancel culture should work. You're gonna find some some shit. Like you're probably gonna if you're searching for it. You're probably we're gonna, gonna find, find shit something. on every single person in your life, and you're gonna find multiple like things that you could hold cool. against they anybody. They wrote this in 2012. Cancel. Done. Man saying man <laughs> saying the n word. Man saying other words. Man's doing this to this girl. A girl doing this to this guy. Mm. You know what I mean? Everybody I feel has their problems in life. Their flaws fucked up shit that they've done even if you are the nicest person in somebody else's life from their perspective you could have fucked you could have done something crazy to them and you don't even know yeah you know what i mean so i just feel like when it comes to cancel culture i feel like when it when we are trying to cancel people it has to be more straight up you know what i mean straight up stuff uh when we get into other things like assaults yeah, because we we were Rape, mostly talking stuff like about that. That's a different. We were mostly category. talking about That's offensive slurs and in tweets and, yeah. and story and uh, sorry, uh, Facebook statuses. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, but something like illegal. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. that that gets dug up from the past. Yeah, That's getting into a different story. That's a different story. Yeah, but again, there needs there, like that's a question. Does there need to be solid evidence? No, it's that is not a question. Because you're not you're not. I, I, and I'll say this myself, I was ignorant at a time, and I, this is only me recently having a new perspective on this whole thing. I was, at a time, I was like, no, most of the time you need evidence. I was a man that would, okay. would okay. I would see situations where girls were being assaulted, and I was like, well, there's no evidence. Like, And that's an ignorant thing to do as a guy, because, okay. again, I if I were to think back to situations where I've seen something kind of weird going on, you know what I mean? What what evidence is a female supposed to bring in that situation? Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. I mean, you like to think, and and the majority of the time, you you're going to straight up take her word for it because who's lying about this type of stuff? I, I and I understand, and and again, there is a but there's some odd cases. But that, there are some odd cases. The, that is why the belief that's, women that's what ruins it. Though. Such yes. a, those people ruin it. And I and I yeah, that's what, like, exactly. I, I get what you mean where you're going yeah. with like that, like the believe women thing is something that mm-hmm. like I had to like. Be like, okay, there's another layer to this. There's another layer. Yeah, Yeah. it's like, because it's like, yeah, obviously you're going to believe them if it's true. Mm -hmm. But it's like, it's not that simple, right? It's like, there has been this culture of not believing women. For a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's it's kind of instilled in our brains. Because it's been cases where like, all right, present me the hard evidence. Exactly. And it's like, yeah, sometimes there isn't, you know, this concrete. Sometimes there doesn't need to be straight concrete evidence because with... A lot of those sexual assault cases, you're only gonna get evidence if it happened like 
12 hours ago. Yeah, right? exactly. And I will even say there's... Honestly, a, and that, the there's, evidence is gone. And, and that's what you think. But there's a lot of even sexual assault that's going on that there's not going to be any real evidence left behind, really. Okay. Like physical. I, I was yeah. just saying, like, instance, I, like yeah, it yeah, have yeah. to be pretty yeah. soon after. I know, I, know females, I know females that have been sexually assaulted where they've been forced to, for example, give a hand job. What evidence am I getting from a fucking hand job? Okay. You're not going to okay. see yeah, there's different his, forms grease, of it. his dick grease in your hand. So and you, I'm just not me making a joke, but you're not going to see evidence in yeah, a female's yeah, no, hand of that. You no, know what I mean? There's different cases of sexual assault. Exactly. It have to be like the traditional, you know, yeah. whatever it might be. Yeah. Even if it's just grabbing someone, groping yeah. someone. Real shit. Which like, there's no evidence. There's no like evidence. That. That's yeah. Like literally but that's like something that still someone has says happened. it happened. And then obviously the other person will be like, that never happened. Mm-hmm. And then what do you do from there? What we do like, from there, I could tell you. I have a solution as a man from the from a man's perspective. Well, the, what, what, what people do now is they just cancel. It. Yeah, what people are doing right. now is so. just canceling the person. And what we aren't doing is we're not being responsible ourselves in trying to, you know, have a conversation or at least help both parties out in figuring out one the actual the person that is being accused one if. If he even knows what sexual assault really is, because they there's probably a lot of people that just think it's rape. Mm. They don't think, oh, yeah. I can't just well, approach a girl and touch her up. You know what I mean? And try to, because yeah. a lot of guys are thinking, oh, I'm just trying to talk to this girl. Yeah. I'm gonna the, I'm gonna figure out ways to talk to her. So I'm gonna I maybe want to touch her. I want to do this, which is completely understandable from a male's perspective. So I think, but you have to look at the bigger picture. So I think, and that's why, and 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 I'll say this, and and this isn't sympathizing with people who do this type of shit. And, yeah, not, uh, and not there's a large majority of them. A large majority of them do know they're doing something wrong. Mm-hmm. They just don't give a fuck, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And then there's yeah. a small majority of them that actually don't understand because sometimes there's gray areas in these things. And a lot of us, at least until started recently, a lot of us were never taught consent. Yes, we were in schools. We were never taught yes. what consent meant exactly and how to consent and and how what does consent look like. So we're like a lot until recently. This is like a new thing in schools and a lot of schools still don't do it in the US and stuff like they just don't want to do it Mm -hmm. Um, which I think is important at a young age to learn it Um, so a lot of us don't have that education and and someone who's already kind of ignorant towards it is gonna is gonna not understand it but that's no excuse but I'm just saying that I think starting it should have been a while ago but yeah, a long time we need ago. to teach children the idea of consent that needs to be ingrained in, yeah. in males and females minds early on yeah um, a thousand percent yeah I feel that's, like that's, that's important and I feel like that's something that we need to do in uh, as men all together we need to hold all of us accountable a lot more and I'm not saying cancel your mans unless they're doing some crazy shit but I'm not saying cancel your man if you see him doing something to a female where she might not be feel comfortable i'm saying have a conversation with him pull him to the side and say yo bro that's not cool you know what i mean like we need to we need to be having a lot more conversations because i feel like i've never had conversations i came on this podcast again me throwing myself under the bus and i said way back when i was younger i didn't know how to approach girls i saw my dad and his friends with girls that are in completely different situations they're fucking and i'm thinking that's how you're supposed to preach approach um females on a regular basis and me in kindergarten grade one i'm talking to girls like my dad's talking to him when he's 20 25 you know what i mean it's completely different and he's never had that conversation with me about consent or how you should treat a woman it's something that you kind of learn ish through failures or mistakes or shit on the internet that's the thing is like if (laughs) you you think like everybody like if you think about what uh, all of us this generation grew up on in terms of like learning how to talk to the other you know the, the the sex that you're you're interested the other sex or whatever mm-hmm. or, yeah you know dating like think, yeah. you know t- love life it's like all been movies and media and stuff and it's like yeah. all all the movies and tv shows that came out during our era were about like praising the guys who could bag the most girls yeah and exactly could you know weasel their way into talking to them and then it's like if you yeah, that if was, you uh, that if was you're a nerd pickup artist stage who, man who's like mm-hmm. who's respectful to women and just you know just mm-hmm. wants to be ni- like have a nice relationship you were bullied so it's like how are we supposed to act like that in front of other guys that, right? that was a very mid 2000s yeah uh opinion frat boy yeah you, you know the the yeah. whole pickup artist thing yeah that was such yeah. a mid 2000s but it didn't die until like five of, years uh, ago you know what i mean mentality yeah um yeah yeah, yeah. Man, even just think about shit like 
Now it's the whole sliding into DMs culture. Yeah. Or whatever Even if you think it. about just now shit that's like, what it is. That's and that's that's different now. That's what's the word I'm looking for? Um, when you're sliding into a bitch's DM, I should say bitches, sorry, into a woman's DM. Um, I can't think of the word right now, but I I, I think of sliding into a, somebody's DMs, anybody that you're interested in, because we're talking about all sexes. Um, because again, rape and stuff like that is not only in the heterosexual world; it could happen in, of course. Uh, you know. Um, with gay people any as well. Age, any gender, sex. Exactly. Uh, so to... I feel like that's the same thing. That's our modern day of like catcalling. Mm. You know what I mean? The sliding into DMs. Sliding into DMs. Cause you can yeah, be because in, a, like, in somebody's the the DMs day, all day from how many different accounts? Didn't consent to this dick pic you sent me on this, on the, on the, not me. Like I'm just, I'm talking in the, yeah. <laughs> of a female. Um, uh, <laughs> um, didn't consent to that. Yeah. That's, uh, that's, yeah, what do you, what is that? Is that assault? It can be. Yeah. It, it, you could. You can call it harassment. Harassment. That's the word. Harassment is the right yeah. word for that, especially yeah. if it's in the masses. Yeah. Exactly. Which girls, a lot of followers will get these, these uh, photos in the masses. Mm -hmm. um, which I get it. Some will say it's easy to ignore, but it's the principle. It's the concept. It's like, that's fucked up. Like, it's like a bunch yeah, of men sending you like. It's like I don't. I would. I wouldn't be on Instagram if yeah. I was getting dick pics all the time. So yeah, yeah, yeah like I would. Like, yeah, that's like, very. They can't enjoy. It's very they can't enjoy it. Yeah. It. If you yeah. Again, I know females that have gotten dick pics from dudes fr at school. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like they're dudes that you're not. They're not even talking to. They're just guys that just want to fuck, and. When you're younger, you think, oh, that's fucking crazy. First off, yo, dude, any but dude no listening right now, no up. girl wants to see your cock yeah, randomly, randomly out of nowhere. Unless, yeah. again, like, the only places that I know where you can send a, a, a dick pic where it'll be accepted is OnlyFans right now. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, but that's because they encourage it because you're <laughs> they paying. They encourage them. it because you're paying. But that's yeah. the only place. They, like, that's rate, the only place rate, you should be do, sending like, dick pics. They rate my dick or something. Yeah. Shit. They'll do the rate <laughs> the dicks for five bucks, ten bucks. <laughs> Go there, you know that's, what I mean. That's, that's a business, though. That is different. But that's what that's where the dick pics should be being sent. You know what yeah. I mean? They shouldn't be yeah, yeah. being sent. They're to, asking for it. Because and if we're gonna look at this as an OnlyFans and a, a situation like that, I don't want to yeah. get too lost. But yeah. my last statement on this is a lot of the girls that you're checking out on Instagram that you're interested in having sexual relations with, or on Instagram, yeah, they a good amount of them have OnlyFans now, so you can send those things to OnlyFans. <laughs> With, yeah. with consent with of consent payment. yeah, yeah with of consent. payment yeah. <laughs> Dude, but I've heard things of girls getting harassed on OnlyFans by their fans yeah for sure but you're gonna that, get harassed that shit happens too I feel like this I feel like a lot of this about shit like oh you, you're, you don't, your content's like not good blah 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 yeah, being it, like it's cause you're, you got finesse you know what I mean you know what I mean being aggressive blah 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 what do you mean I have to pay $30 for this fucking <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean like yeah so those are just that's psychos. that's your problem bro those yeah are some psychos, <laughs> that's, that's your problem yeah. but yeah i just feel like overall when it comes to cancel culture and everything uh, i don't fully agree with it i understand there are situations where yes we need to cancel the fuck out of certain people but i'm a man that i have done certain stupid fucked up things in my life and i have grown mm -hmm. since you know what i mean yeah. i've grown i have a new perspective on life and i feel like most people if not all, we all kind of grow, whether that be for the better or not. But yeah. if men's are growing positively, then we should be able to not overlook, but we have to look at almost like the whole Kobe thing, for example. We have to look at the full, his full story. Yeah. Because, yeah, even with that, there are people <laughs> who were like, they didn't know anything about the rest yeah. of his legacy. So they're just kind of calling him out on the one on that, thing that on they On the knew. one thing that they knew. And, and that's not fair. Yeah, you have to look at the you have we we as Kobe fans we take everything into consideration. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think we we all like to assume that we we it, look if you look at where he was in his in his last years, like he seemed like he grew mm -hmm. from his experiences. You know of what happened twenty years ago. You know, like yeah, it seems like he became an upstanding person. Mm -hmm. You know, role model. You know. One of the best role models of the NBA, probably. In the NBA. Yeah. And I feel like to a lot of just yeah. people. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Again. But one of the first people really to take like that idea of being a sports star outside of the you know, like Michael Jordan was a was a was a role model, but like Kobe It was different. Yeah, yeah. Kobe was like a was a role like you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like he really inspired kids who might not even have in like watch bat watched mm -hmm. him for basketball, but yeah. just like Kobe, you know? Yeah. I feel like uh, Michael Jordan was, he was like, he's everybody's like 
you know, he's like your god tier yeah, yeah. dude that was just, he's just not on earth. Yeah. Realistically, yeah. you know what I mean? But yeah. Kobe's always been around. He's been here and he's been on that god tier level. Yeah. Kobe's kind of like the human who <laughs> who reached that tier yeah. level by like just pure work. He's like, like, oh uh, shit, like I can get to that level. Because Kobe idolized Jordan so much that he became Jordan yeah. by just working so hard at it, right? Exactly. And it's like, that's kind of that model. He's like Hercules or some yeah. shit, you know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> and then like, Jordan yeah. is like your Zeus. Exactly. He's yeah. your god, like you're not yeah. seeing him. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? You're not seeing him anywhere. You just know stories yeah. of about Zeus and Michael Jordan. Yeah. But then when it comes to Kobe, Kobe's out here, you know? Yeah. Kobe's been hanging with the man down. Yeah. He's, he's doing his thing, so. Mm-hmm. Lost in Talks, episode 44. We're back. Yeah. Back. Um, so, uh, cancel culture. We're having a pretty dope discussion about it. Um, do you have any other top, like, thoughts? or? My, th- my thoughts are like, simply cancel culture is pretty whack if, you're, if you don't expect people just to change. Like, men's are changing. There are different times. Don't be canceling people for shit that they did way back in their lives. They're most likely different people. And if we are going to cancel those people, then let's at least have a conversation. You know, let's have conversations so maybe people aren't educated enough. Maybe they do know what is wrong. Maybe there's trauma in that person's life. Like, let's really try to figure out a way for us all to live on this planet together. Yeah. Um, Not that it's like it applies in all cases, but I feel like you can you can tell from a person's apology where where they stand in yeah. terms of like what that's they're true. being accused apology of. That's, very true. that's yeah. very true. I feel like if it's like a very old tweet, even if it's something where it's like you know like sometimes when it's like oh yeah this tweet from 2010 was pulled up, like some people are already gonna be like yeah you know the apology doesn't need to be that strong, but like you can even tell like the people who put the thought into it, mm-hmm. and then you can tell there are people who are getting accused of serious shit and their apology is like horseshit. Weak. So it's like. Yeah. So you can, yeah. I feel like that is. At least is, have a good apology. I feel like that's a pretty, that's a good gauge of like yeah. where where their headspace is. Like that initial apology, you know, like how seriously they're taking it. Yeah. I mean, if they're not speaking, then it's probably because there's there's an investigation. So then it's probably a serious thing, you know. Mm-hmm. But if it's if they're just not speaking on it because you know they don't think it's that serious, then that's probably a, a sign too that you know that they're. I'll, I'll they say to right now, I'll probably if anybody tried to cancel me in the future for anything I've said on Facebook, I probably wouldn't say anything. Mm. Mainly just because, again, like that's. Jamal before high yeah, school. Yeah, like, and it's uh, th- those things. It's something where it's like you gotta, you gotta kind of see how kinda people like, yeah. are. Because there's been things where it's like people don't need to make the statement because they know that people are gonna just let it blow over. You yeah. know, like so it's it's hard with those ones. You'll probably you know, never like, catch me saying a word about none of that shit. And I'll say it on this pod, and I I've said it several times on the pod. Like that's old Jamal, so it's not where I'm at now. Yeah. And I'll say it here once. This is my statement. If you do want to pull up anything. It's true. This, you clip this for me. And this is the video. Okay. Here. <laughs> That's my statement. Thanks. Awesome. So I'm just going to, you can just pull that later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I just come back to the pod and pull that <laughs> just later. Just pull that out maybe in five years yeah. or whatever. I just have the I'm date just on just throw it. that out there. Um, yeah. You said that today, which exactly. is July 27, Monday, July 20, 2020. Yeah. Um, um, cool. Sorry. We're gonna, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I, see you pulling I was going to bring up a point. I don't, I don't know. I'm hearing things like when you when someone is canceled online, they don't actually get truly canceled because I've seen situations where certain celebrities get canceled for a brief period of time, but they come back strong because they're always going to have these core fan bases that, that really fuck with them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So Louis C.K. was an example. He got canceled for <sighs> what he did was wrong yeah i don't it's creepy and wrong i don't have any words for that one because i really don't know you were a fan of louis i was yeah and it's just yeah it was fucked up what he did it's very fucked up yeah it was very fucked up it's not wasn't the worst thing ever but very Very traumatizing very weird very weird very very creepy very kind of not surprised but for some reason when you really think about his jokes and his humor and yeah and but i'm not that was the thing is like he was so open about those things as you thought that usually what happens is the people who are like very honest in their comedy aren't fucked up because i always got the sense that he was a sexually oppressed even though Mm. like he's like rich and famous and could probably get a lot of women 
<laughs> he always gave off his sexually That's oppressed true. like well I mean uh, most comedians divorced, don't make it till they're yeah, man yeah. Like, yeah that was we had this topic before yeah. like how they don't know how yeah. to handle they, they no they do know how to handle fame because they've already like lived if you a think of somebody life. like Louis C.K. Yeah, yeah like he yeah. was only uh, he, his his peak attraction was like when he's like 40 he's but he was like, like uglier than he was when he was like 20 and like he's no, already yeah. like a dude looks like like a dad yeah like, literally right now like, yeah like him trying to he, like the only way he'd get a 21 year old would be because he's rich and famous at that point yeah otherwise like it's never gonna happen there are um, some dudes that make it into the game and they are just too ugly yeah even when you have the money yeah it just sucks. Possible. And if you're Possible. just spending your money on hookers, like, you don't want to be able to, you don't want to have to do that all the time, you know? I'd rather buy a girl a bag than have mm-hmm. to pay for sex. Yeah. But with Louis, basically, my point was, like, he got canceled for a while. His movie flopped. He lost his Netflix deals, blah, 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 blah. But, I mean, he did a couple of shows and they sold out. Yeah. So, clearly, there's, there's some people that fuck with him. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm going to also say that I was even looking at... So, recently in the city, there's a lot of people getting canceled. That's kind of how this topic brought up. Yeah, it's a lot of dudes. This is more for the city, but I was even looking at some of these dudes, um, their pages and stuff like that, and it's like, nothing, nothing happened. Good or bad? Nothing. Is that good or bad? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's I don't bad? know. Oh, you're not sure? I don't know. I don't know if it's good or bad, because it's just like, the way it looks like is almost like what you're saying with the Louis C.K. thing, you know? It's like... There's, these people are still able to live their lives, even though they're being exposed for beating up a girl. Do we <laughs> want to name mean? drop? Choking one, out a girl. Do you want to name drop one of the people? Or? Uh, I don't want to name drop we, because, again, I don't know that whole situation. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not going to go pull up, pull up the post, but you can see. You can just pull up people's posts on internet and yeah. on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are people getting canceled all the time right now. Yeah, yeah. I'll say there were a couple people from Blank Canvas. That were getting canceled. Really? Yeah. But, and just John, he dropped a statement saying, yo, we cut ties with those people years ago. They just still have that they work for us in their fucking Facebook bios. They're like, still like lingering around. Yeah. And I went to the man's Facebook and it still says they work there, even though they got fired three years ago. And it, he, they're posting up stuff on Facebook and it's fine. <laughs> there was like, there's a good example of cancel culture that I, sh- we should have brought up. It's old, but like, how did you guys feel about the whole Daniel Caesar thing? Cause like he was getting canceled. That one was the stupid one. That that's that's an example of the stupid one. Yeah, that's a stupid reason to cancel yeah. somebody. And they're still trying to do it. Yeah. To this day, it's yeah. still being brought up. I, yeah, it's, that's um, a dumb one. So what? Yeah. It's I, it's what's like your opinion. Like I don't. Don't know. yeah. Like I don't think anything Daniel Caesar has done is is cancelable. But it's just like. He's said some questions. He said he some said like some suspect shit. shit you know, yeah. like it's where it's like you gotta kind of. I I have, I have I've, I put a watch on him. You yeah. know, like like he's kind of asking for a bit of hate. Like yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. Like why? But why it's are never, you trying to stir the but pot? But it, it's nothing. It's just controversial things. It's nothing it's like nothing, it's nothing like woke. Like he's being crazy. fucking yeah. woke as shit. Like. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's he's having conversations with the public that you can't have conversations. Yeah. About. With, like, yeah. On a live yeah, yeah. or whatever. What's on a live. Yeah. You have those conversations right here with the Mandem. Like, yeah. we can talk about stuff when we're not recording. Like, I did just before we were recording. But it's just like, he was having conversations with the world that he shouldn't be having. Because mm. the world yeah, because isn't you, ready. The world is not ready. There are so many opinions and perspectives listening to you. And there's, there's going to so, be a, there's, there's there's so be a bunch of shit. It's so easy to take things out of context. You know, you know like, exactly. That's, all the, that's the only difference. All is like, it I takes. Know, you know that here, like, if there's no cameras... It, it, nothing you say will be held against you mm-hmm. and not that that's a it's like because the things that we say sometimes is it's just us asking a question it's not mm-hmm. like yeah. us putting he's our, not, our yeah he's not making any it. claims and i feel like that's what that kind of was yeah all it, takes it was him a asking couple, a question all it takes is a couple people who are watching the pod to strongly disagree with him and then it takes them to then tweet about it and then have the same people with the same opinion. Cut the little clip of it. Yeah, yeah. Cut a context, quick clip. Yeah. Have the same people with that same opinion retweet about it. Yeah. And then all those people with the same opinion keep retweeting about it. Yeah. And next you know, it's everywhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it turns and then into it, a fact. And then, and, then, and, then, and then sometimes you get pulled into cancel culture almost by like just like peer pressure because you're like everyone's hating on Daniel Caesar. Oh, he is fucked up. I don't like him either. Mm. Blah, blah, blah. Even though like Loki, like you never thought about this before, like <clears throat> yeah, Loki's exactly. perspective. Yeah, you're just like hating on Daniel Caesar right now. Is kind of in, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, you let's don't you him. don't want to get you know? can- it's like you don't want to get canceled by proxy <laughs> by, by, like, by su- supporting him. Yeah, and you by supporting I mean? it's just yeah, like yeah, by yeah. not 
yeah. by not disagreeing, you know, like not but disagreeing then, with but him. But then just we're like, also now in a position. Even just like sometimes just being neutral, you're kind of like, yeah. no, that's not good enough. You mm-hmm. know, like you have to pick a side. But that's what I was going to say. Now yeah. people are getting not canceled, but they're being by not saying anything. Yeah. You are now basically you're part of the problem. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. With cancel culture. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So kind of like fuck like oh man i just feel like a lot and what's annoying is this is all like social media shit and like the social media is not really like real life yeah i'm like i'm sorry but i tell people this a lot of people in 2020 and and in the future are taking social media way too seriously all you gotta do at this point is scary the second you have to just turn off the internet and that shit's gone yeah like it doesn't exist anymore (laughs) i feel like that's the one perspective that (laughs) old people who don't have internet are at right now like Like, like, i wouldn't i i I hate making the the distinctions between generations because i feel like we all are always gonna have the same problems like yeah but like i feel like the one thing that this new generation grew up with is uh with that the uh, everybody else hasn't grown up with was like we even us we grew up knowing that social like we grew up with facebook and it's like we we were like i remember getting those emails like yo join facebook i'm like yo fuck that i'm not joining this dumb shit yeah and like even when you got it you're still roasting it and then yeah it becomes a part of your life sure (laughs) but like yeah for these this new generation it's like they've grown up with everything their whole life you mm-hmm. know like there's eight year olds who don't know a world what in, without instagram which Bro, is you know fucked my, up right the little boy that lives next door he has an instagram yeah he's like you have to be he's like, not even five yeah oh you have to be like technically <laughs> you're supposed to be like 13 to make one. <laughs> that's what i'm saying that's like the rules i'm like bro IG when you go to the app store it says PG 13 yeah. or whatever 13 you have to plus be 13 to make it cuz they can't censor their content yeah. right so yeah, and then they he and then he finds my Instagram. <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? He's like, "Who's Jamal following me?" You know? <laughs> he finds my Instagram with a fucking ass in his exactly. face. Like, <laughs> dude, I, I do. I, I'd be very scared in his backyard. Yeah, are, in his backyard. If there are know? people under eighteen looking at my shit. I am sorry. Yeah. I am, I wish I could block you and figure out who you yeah, are. Yeah, but they're looking like, at porn too on the internet. Yeah, so yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, man's been watching porn. You can't for, avoid it. You can't oh, avoid. Man. Man's have been watching fuck. porn on their PSP, their PSP, PS2, PS3. my cousin's computer, yeah. bro. <laughs> bro, like, what does OnlyFans mean for the youth, man? Like, what is that gonna be? I I hope it just means that people are gonna be paying for their content. Yeah, I like I and you know we funny? grew up knowing how to finesse. Free, I knew, yeah, we grew up knowing how to lives. finesse, and I feel like that's the mindset that a lot of people are in that needs yeah. to change. Yeah, and I and I, <laughs> I hate how progressive I sound because <laughs> because a lot of the time it's just like, bro, porn is free. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. But again, when you start learning about the Pornhub stuff and even just as a music or like a filmmaker and a musician, yeah. when you're on Pornhub, you're like, wait, like this, 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 this these people have like. 8 million views on like 10 different videos because yeah. they get posted bare get times posted. it's like we can't even get 2,000 on one video exactly. like can you imagine if our shit was we and had I, like 10 different videos posted like and exactly. they were all and, I don't, and again their we don't know where these videos are coming from yeah we don't know the people in these videos if they have consented or yeah. what honestly I hope in the future OnlyFans and shit like that is more normalized because yeah as far as I know I don't I don't know if there's any pimping going on on OnlyFans so um, I mean, there's always opportunity there's to exploit chance. There's, and a things. Chance. Yeah, there's a chance. There's a chance. Yeah, Boy. there's a chance. But I, 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 I want to support. And we've been making jokes about this forever on the pod. But we should be able to support the content creators, even if it's shit. Yeah, you want to hope that because there's enough people who are behind it that hopefully yeah. you know they're not getting fucked over, and this is like the best iteration for people to own yeah. their stuff so far in terms yeah. especially in that industry like hopefully because you're because yeah. as far as we know we're getting it right from the people yeah you know what i mean yeah. it's not just some shit that was posted up from uh big cock 3000 yeah from you know from from some next porn stars catalog it's, yeah it's from the actual girl herself yeah. or the or the guy or whoever you know what i mean so yeah there was, a, there was another cancel sorry different topic another cancel that we thought. Remember when Taylor Swift was getting canceled back in 2016? Yeah. Over the Kanye Kim shit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Remember that shit? That was dumb. Uh, it was what dumb, but it wasn't that? fully dumb. It was. She it, felt attacked. It wasn't. I wouldn't <laughs> say it was. It wasn't dumb in the moment. When we found out the rest of the news recently, it, it, the news came out recently yeah. that that whole phone call and everything was edited. Yeah. So apparently, Kim had some people edit it to favor their side that is bad though yes so at the time when our only evidence was that taylor was being a snake yeah she deserved to be canceled in that moment because 
how she was acting and making herself look like a victim yeah, is yeah. is the reason why and I'm being I'm exaggerating here, but it's the reason why we have victims of abuse that aren't being heard. You know what I mean? Like that's the reason those are the people that you look at where, oh yeah, that the, is the your off who, case. The boy who cried wolf. Type yeah, of that's thing. Yeah. that's your yeah. off case where, yeah, you know, the guy didn't actually assault her. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. That must be exaggerating this. That's yeah. what it's like though. Because it got such a high Yeah. Yeah, notoriety. Yeah. You know what I mean? So at the time it made sense. Yeah, it canceled. But her. even during that time, during I remember that, when yeah, I'm like, kind of Yeah, you guys are staking it on this phone they call. Were, I'm like, I don't know even gonna try I, like I They were pushing care. it a little bit too yeah, hard though. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, it's just she just I don't know. to me it was just like, Yeah, we don't have to cancel her, but we can all say that yeah, she's not real. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she moved kind of slimy yeah, in, yeah. That, in that moment. I'm not, there's no reason to fucking end her career. Yeah. And by the way, Taylor Swift just dropped an album. It's pretty hard still. <laughs> I haven't heard it. But. It's like, I was going to say, we might have to do a reaction to the video because <laughs> she directed wild. it and it's looking kind of fire still. She's so. been, uh, she has some good visuals. Um, what was I going to say? There's this quote about cancel culture from Obama. This is back in 2016, I think. Says this idea is yeah, kind of no cancel culture is out around, that bro. Time. That's what I'm saying. Cancel culture has been around. It's, it's been just, around for a while. We just um, don't think it's been that long because it's we're lost in time. Yeah. It's, been, it's been about five, six, seven years ish. Yeah, Me too. Movement. Almost a decade. Me too. Movement was well, 2017. Too, yeah, Me Too movement really kicked off in 2017. That was that really kickstarted it. It was there a little bit before. Um, so he's like this idea of purity, and you're never compromised, and you're always politically woke and all that stuff. You should get over that quickly. Basically. Basically saying, like, it's, it's a little more complicated to completely condemn someone for their mistakes. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Exactly. It's not, like, I get it. When it's blatantly, obviously, obvious and fucked up, yes. But we're canceling people for, like, minor mistakes that are in the past. That are in the past. And you have to sometimes just realize that, like, y'all, like, we grow as people and sometimes our... Or you don't know where we were at back then, and and you know we change. You exactly. Know I mean? and we we learn, we change, we grow. Yeah. So back then, I, it's not I always think, relevant to who we are today. Yeah, and I think one of like the not the best feeling, but like one of the most like complete feelings is when you realize that you know there's that weird feeling when it's like you 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 or you're ha- happy that the thing that you fucked up on is something that you did because it gave you a lesson that was like more valuable than than anything because you can't imagine like where you would have been if you didn't do that because mm-hmm. you don't know if you would have learned that same lesson and then so people it's kind of try like, to come back and hold that against you. yeah so it's kind of like you i feel like as people we all i like i i love the like i would love to impart the wisdom that you know failures are the great you know that it's a it's a very mm-hmm. common thing like yeah. saying that your mistakes are your greatest teachers or whatever like yeah. there's a there's a saying like that. Like, it is true, though. Like, I feel like so many of the things that have happened that have been growing experiences have come from the from the, the mistakes. Yeah. yeah. So it's like you you don't want to live a life where you would think that you have to eliminate all your mistakes and having people kind of have to apologize for things that not not that they they're happy that it happened, but it's like they accepted that they they've already accepted that it's happened and they've moved on from it because they've learned the lesson from it mm-hmm. why are you why are you going to bring that up again on exactly. them it's like they've already learned the lesson and yeah. i feel like those things most for the most part they are kind of easy to figure those ones out where it's like yeah obviously this person learned from that you know mm-hmm. it's just how it works man yeah just how it works well what do you have to say for people because you know there's going to be people that are going to say well no sympathy there's no sympathy there's no you have to you have sympathizing to be, for anyone who does this or acts this way ever you gotta be human at the end of the yeah. day because okay. I can look back at that person and be like okay so if we were all being real 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 and we were all that person that's saying you know there's no sympathy I would say okay what is the worst thing you've ever done in your life yeah you know what I mean yeah majority of people have done something probably fucked somewhat up. fucked up behind <laughs> yeah. closed doors and uh or whatever more, you know what i mean or more, more open but yeah and what is the what is the thing that you've done the most fucked up thing that you've done you know what i mean now what if we held that against you for the are you the same person that you were back then and also what if we held that against you for the rest of your life yeah that's not fair and if you think about the most fucked up thing you've done, it's probably to somebody who's been the closest to you, and they've exactly. probably forgiven you for it. They've either know? forgiven you for it, and maybe, or maybe they do remember it, but they've just kind of just 
I mean, left it on the back burner. Like it's yeah. not. It's not. They they also understand those times humans are not are here anymore. Yeah. You know what I mean? Canceling yeah. someone for something they did a long time ago for like the rest of their life is like almost like putting someone in jail for something minor for the rest of their life. Yeah, and that's real shit, and that happens. And yeah. no one likes that. There are yeah. people who are still in people jail. People are for, very much uh, against that idea. A fucking eighth. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I yeah. could not imagine, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Getting caught with a nug. Like there are people. <laughs> Twenty who are, years. Yeah. Twenty I mean, years. I mean, there's pe- there's people who are serving whatever thirty years for like yeah nug. Yeah. This is my analogy. Or gram, and this is an analogy I came up with I think last year or the year before. We didn't always recycle. Mm. Okay. People don't take that in, eh? Yeah, like in, I, like of like historic. That historic, went over man's heads. Historically, right? What if I condemned you for the rest of your life for not recycling? Yeah, there was a time in our lot in my lifetime at least where man just you just took out all the garbage. Yeah, it was just garbage. Yeah, but there's no blue bin. Whatever you learn bin. green bin. You, you're fucking yeah. up the planet. You know what? Maybe we need to start separating the things that we are using on a regular basis. Yeah, are we gonna cancel so every we started uh, generation before us for fucking up our planet? <laughs> exactly. Are we gonna cancel? Uh, I mean, we should cancel everybody from the late 1800s just because they're all fucked up anyway. Yeah, but are we gonna cancel them for creating factories in oil and gasoline? And no. you can say if you're eating if you're eating meat. <laughs> yeah. Meat, yeah. like the production of meat, cows especially. Unless you're hunting every fucking animal they, that you're eating, they fuck up the environment. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and if we're being real, are we gonna cancel? When you that? when it comes to garbage day, or or even when it when you have some garbage in your room, have you are you really sorting that shit? Mm-hmm. Are you really washing out your containers before you put them in the recycling bin? What's more precious than the environment or the earth? The that earth, you live on. the earth that you live you're on. You're killing the earth, man. You're killing. <laughs> That's Everybody's like, there's nothing home. else. That's all you know is the earth. There's nothing else. People don't take that shit in. There's literally nothing else. Like you destroy the earth. I will tell else. you right now. Like I'm not gone. sorting through my shit that well. <laughs> I, if I see a box, it goes into recycling. Yeah. But if I order some food from McDonald's, I'm not thinking about what's recyclable here. I'm not thinking about what needs to go into the some garbage. Do I have two boxes there. You know how many times I forget which one is recycling? Yeah. Which you, just you, you just dash and You just because you're thinking at least it's not in my space. You yeah. know, at least it looks yeah. cleaner down here. Exactly. Yeah. Yo, do you do you wash? Yo, real question. Yo, do you wash the peanut butter jars? No. You're supposed to. I fucking. Those are recyclable. Kobe, I'm chucking that. They want you to wash the peanut butter jars. Yeah, cause, you know, because you know what it's doing. Recyclable. It, and you know why? Because it contaminates the products that we're trying to reuse. Yeah. People don't get that. Yeah. I I understand that, that's and I still do. I thought, I thought, I thought about that too. Like I've been like, wait, like how are you recycling this thing that's crushed up and like yeah. it has shit in it? With my so ketchup, you're supposed yeah. to wash out a yeah. peanut butter jar yeah. and then put it in the recycling. I could never. You but know you know how, how hard it that? would be to fucking. That's a lot of work. Just thinking about that would ruin the sponge, bro. Like what the fuck? You know what I mean? Washing out a peanut butter jar. And now I'm gonna condemn you. Man's gonna say, nigga, I know. <laughs> I know you didn't wash out your peanut butter jar that one time last summer, bro. Canceled. It's fucking canceled. Yo, He's when you were a kid, it. when you were a fucking kid, I saw you mix that ketchup, that Heinz bottle. You just dashed it. You just threw it in the garbage, not even recycling. Yeah. So that's how I feel about cancel culture. That's how I feel about humans. We are always evolving and growing and learning we're learning from our mistakes so i don't know man we're making light of it with the recycling yeah but it's just an analogy that that's real life for everybody you know what i mean if if you're listening to this podcast and you know for a fact you're not sorting out your recycling recycling and garbage or all your waste the way that you're supposed to be the way that the government wants you to you are breaking the law Basically, yeah. you should be canceled as well. Being a bad, bad citizen. <laughs> you're being a bad. You're being a bad Samaritan. citizen in your in your home. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's how I look at it. It's like clearly you're not. Realistically, you're not. Realistically, you're trying to do your job. Yeah, this is recycling. Da da da. But you're not always gonna follow through. You're not always gonna keep up with it. And that's just life because you're human at the end of the day. And I shouldn't be getting on your ass because of that for the rest of your life. You know, even though technically we kind of should because we have to save the planet, but that's, I mean, that, that's a whole hopefully nother, that's something that we can focus on in, our, in the second half of our life. Yeah. I don't know if that's something that we're going to be able to focus on for the next 20 years, but yeah, now <laughs> just listen to us and just shot shit into space. Then. Just shoot it at the sun. Yeah. But hey, I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stupid though. You know what I mean? Um, I saw Ian. He pulled up a next one that got canceled and his still kind of living. Uh, Ian Connor. Ian Connor. Yeah, that was the mm. one I was looking up uh, before when I was doing research for the topic because uh, he he's one that probably deserves to be canceled. 
I well, I don't know what. Let me make sure this is correct before I even because he had some very strong allegations on him. Like, yeah. like they'd be interviewing these girls and they're talking about it, and I believe them. So, um, I'm and with him, I'm not surprised. Like, I haven't really kept up with him, but like, has he? I, I don't know. What's his career? I don't know what the he fuck. still has a career though. Like, I mean, he's fine. Yeah? yeah, he he's doesn't work. He does. Yeah, the, Kanye. He doesn't work with Kanye anymore. He doesn't work with his main people anymore. But he has his own line. He has he like was a Kanye a knockoff and someone else's stylist or whatever. What shoes? He has a knockoff shoe brand. Yo, someone like him could millions. like literally go to like Japan and just like do. He'll work. be fine. And like they wouldn't give a fuck. Yeah, you know what I mean. So like he, that's what that's what that was my point. Like people who get canceled don't actually get canceled. Mm-hmm. These famous people, anyways. Exactly. Like a Joe, mm-hmm. like a random dude might, but like someone like him. Even a random dude, because you gotta think about it. Not <sighs> everybody in a random dude's that's life knows who he is. They really don't get canceled. You can get canceled here, that, move to bad, fucking though. Detroit, and you're fine. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Directors have been doing it the way you, uh, the way you, time. Yeah. Roman the way Blansky. you get canceled yeah. officially Woody, Woody is Allen. like you're in Woody jail. Allen. Like that's how you really get canceled. Yeah. Like you're in jail. Like if you when you get charges. You that's like also we, we haven't talked like, about this on the pod but like the correlation between uh, film directors and, and, and like the pedophilia yeah exactly it's crazy oh, it's wild. Uh, don't put me in that world bro. <laughs> yeah. it's crazy though that's a whole other topic man there's, yeah, man. there's like this there's a community. lot of they got a book club I don't even want to talk about it it's kind of fucked but yeah. they've I mean if you're talking about like people who have been living after cancel culture like Roman Polanski Woody Allen those are like the original should have been canceled 40 years ago and just moved and yeah. or Woody Allen didn't need to fucking move and like just yeah. continued on yes that's his girl Ian that's what he has a girl like she doesn't give a shit yeah and she's a big model Ian Connor by the way people um, she's a big model gorgeous and they're together they're doing their thing and what I, I I'll say this I'll make a comment he just towards that relationship him. I feel like what it is maybe even though Ian as far as we know has done these things He's hopefully learned from his mistake. I hope. And this is just me trying to be the most positive person in the world. He's hopefully I don't know what you're about to say. learned from these mistakes. And his girlfriend has is kind it's of... funny how you're saying Ian because uh, my name's Ian. You're oh, sorry. the fuck out of me. Sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ian like, what Connor. What did I do? Oh, wait, wait, wait. You're talking about <laughs> No, no, no. Connor. Hopefully Ian Connor is in a better place. <laughs> Mentally, he kind of understands the mistakes that he has made. And his girlfriend now supports him for that. You know what I mean? Learning, hopefully. Hopefully that is the situation. I've got 33 allegations though. I read somewhere. Yeah, but yeah, if, now let's Christ. let's think about those allegations. Are they all true? We don't know. I'm not gonna say if they're all true, but I'm. But like, I, I will tell you the history that I know about Ian Connor. He f- has had sex with a lot, a lot of women, a lot of women. So that not not all those cases might have been consensual. It might have been a, a thing where in his head, and I'm not trying to back him up, people. By the way, I'm just trying to say because of the situations yeah. that he's in. He was probably just feeling, you know, I have this power. I am this person. I can fuck whoever I want. That's where a lot of it comes from. And that's where a lot of it comes from. Yeah. And he's probably thinking, right. you know what? These conversations that I'm having with these hot women, yeah, I'm going to be able to get laid. And yeah. maybe he's put them in situations where that's they felt why forced. That's so many celebrities are in these positions. Exactly. Because they have the they power. Really those are the that. allegations I've been hearing from like exactly. soccer players and stuff. Yes. Like uh, Ronaldo. Like yes. those are the ones who, uh, uh, Neymar, it's like the ones where it's just like, it. it they th- like they might not know it's consensual because of who is, they are. You're exactly. fucking, like, and they're it's like, like borderline Because they God. just think, like they're God level. Uh, yeah. They like, think I'm fucking, the world. I'm this person. Like, yeah. like people, like, I have seen a lot of women that do want to have sexual relations with me. So I think just everybody does. I mean, yeah. when you, you know? when you get like 45, but that again, that's not, that's not correct. Not, not an excuse. It's not an excuse. It's definitely not an excuse. That's definitely not an excuse, excuse. Yeah. but we have to look at the bigger picture. You know what I mean? Yeah. And people don't look at that bigger picture and that's, it's like, it leaves room for more conversation. Not that, not the power that, us specifically but the power mm. of us as society that's what we've been giving these mm. people for exactly. so much that we've is, been yeah. doing it to them we've been all giving it them, them that yeah because we, like, we give them so much attention yeah. again it's like why the fuck do and I, why do why do our, why are our athletes making more than nurses people that are saving lives you know what I mean mm. I get it it's entertainment entertainment people get paid the most because I we, understand we the consumer pays gives them the money exactly yeah, we allow Obvious. it yeah. and we give them the money it's all yeah. us, so. but we should be again we need to be figuring out a way a, to get the, the money to the real people that's a thing I've been thinking about a lot during the quarantine actually it's kind of like you know the, the way that we've been time, yeah the, the, <laughs> about to run out oh fuck never mind then <laughs> <laughs> never mind then <laughs> well, shit what was I going to talk about uh, podcast you were going to say about 
you know, are we going to make changes? Right. Yeah. Yeah. The whole, one of the main things I've been talking about during this quarantine is, is just like, you know, as you watch just things that we've, it's, it just feels like as we, we, we live in this time now, yeah. these, this unprecedented time, it's like <laughs> the main thing that I hope everybody's getting out of this is like assessing and reassessing. It's like the things that you had in your life before this and after this and what actually mattered and what mm-hmm. didn't matter. I feel like for us, there are so many things where we were like, yeah, no, the things that we were doing made sense because we can still do them. Yeah. Whereas it feels like some every day I'll see something where I'm like, oh shit, I didn't realize like this little thing that meant nothing to me before this could have been somebody's entire world, exactly. and now it's it's gone. Yep. And it's like, are we gonna are we gonna jump quickly back to those things? Like, are we gonna still invest so much money in all of these distractions? We've that's the main thing that I've realized is like how many how much money is funneled into just distractions for people bars clubs uh, yeah. which I, I all love I love we love them and uh, stupid I, movies that's, and that's what they call your economy shows. by the way that, that goes back to my exactly. thing about spending <laughs> yeah. money yeah that's money yeah. Yeah. The, that's but, what the economy the conversation about earlier about spending money that was kind of like part of my point you yeah, know, yeah. Brought up where like a lot of us spend money on stuff that like is just mostly escapism realistically yeah, yeah. mostly go yeah. on yeah, yeah, uh, that's I spend, I mean, like that's, I spend, a, that's yeah. why I'm I spend, judging spending money because I know for a fact that like it's not helping you. Really. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it's just like time wasting. Like, yeah, you're only on this earth so long, so like you might as well do the shit you want to do, mm-hmm. and not just like spend money for the sake of spending money because it kind of well, fill, it kind of temporary fills no, the void. No, but that's what people bit. think they want to do. Yeah. But, but they need to realize it's not. Man, so they need yeah, to do, people are dumb. They bro. need to hit some <laughs> mushrooms and figure that out. No, nah, <laughs> like, they're dumb, bro. Real quick. I mean, <laughs> mushrooms are getting. Hopefully, maybe mushrooms will be the thing that unite us all because I as they so. get more accessible and stuff, maybe I it'll start so. changing really people's so. perception. I got stocks in that shit, bro. I really <laughs> I hope, hope so. so. I really hope so. I feel like that that whole ego death thing is the thing that everybody like that is what we need as a society kind of just I feel like, like that's down yeah, and like things. we were saying like I feel like that's what 2020 has been for us it's, it's been, been an a, ego death it's yeah. been an ego death it's yeah. kind of or not I wouldn't say ego death but it's kind of been in the process of we're getting to that point of the ego death yeah, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean because yeah. I feel like once we started opening shit up a bit people fell back into their ways yeah and it's because they they're fucking selfish and ignorant and they don't see that and th- like none of this shit matters yeah. like uh you know uh, i was at kennedy commons the other day and i'm like oh shit chapters o- is open mm-hmm. and th- that was always a, a place that confused me even like five years ago because i'm like how is that place making money like mm-hmm. they're always huge bro that place is packed and and it's like <laughs> and then i'm like wait but the libraries aren't open yet mm-hmm. but i'm like oh yeah you know the difference is bookstores make money and libraries don't but like that yeah. shows you where we are as a society right now, we're literally opening up things that are assen- essential. We're, we're, not, we're not saying that they're essential that they're opening them back up because, <laughs> like we said, libraries aren't open. <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? It's like we're yeah. opening up things that it's are making concept. can make the most money right exactly. now, and people don't understand. It's not, it's not a lessening of the uh, severity of the disease. The disease is not spreading slower right now mm-hmm. because we're opening up these things. It's people. We're just trying to make money for this summer. And then we're gonna close everything yeah. back up. They opened it. <laughs> close everything they opened up. it because of yeah. the economy. Realistically. Yeah, like you um, have to realize that the things that you're spending money on right now, you're you're dashing your serve check right back into, yep. are things that don't actually need to exist. There are things that have, yeah, they're they're the economy. The yep. things that actually don't need to exist. Yep. You know, basically. <laughs> basically, that, that was my point. Yeah, Thank yeah. You for our- and it goes back to my point. What was it last week? This shit was all created by a group of dudes. Yeah. Yeah. A bunch of dudes. Yeah. You have to think about no, it. and the, 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 it, go, it does go back to your point about like, why are we in debt? Because we spend money on nonsense yeah. and we're support, we're funding nonsense. We're funding we, nonsense. And like, I hope that, and it clearly isn't working, but I hope that what this quarantine shows, what 2020 shows is that there are so many things that we don't need. We, sometimes we figure, we think about things that we need to grow, but yeah. it's like, like even like yeah, I think Talking it comes back to materialistic shit, right? I feel like it comes back to this yeah. cancel culture thing too. It's like I, people don't understand the value in like unlearning things. I feel like that's the most important. Yeah, thing. exactly. It's like sometimes you need, you need to see the the entirety of the mistakes so that you can have that framework of like, okay, this is why, uh, this is what is right and this mm-hmm. is what is wrong because you've seen the full. And that's what we've seen over wrong. history with through yeah. racism, through the use of oil and shit like that. It's war. We've seen the history, so why aren't? Yeah, are I remember seeing. Really, make the I, I didn't like look at the article, but it's some senator from 
some southern state said like slavery was a necessary evil or something and it's like a necessary evil yeah and it's like that's not the right way yeah. of saying it it's yeah. it's it's you have to in the present learn from the things that happened in history yeah, exactly. that's the you it's you simple. have to just take what has happened before you and learn from like that learn from it yeah so. Like, I don't, like, people don't like that, uh, that idea of, like, learn from history or whatever, like, history repeats itself. Yeah. It's so facts. Like, it's facts. The, the shit that we're going through right now has happened how many times? Yeah. Honestly, I think fucked up things need to happen in history. They, they will happen fuck, inevitably. Never, it's inevitable. It's yeah. inevitable, but I think they actually somewhat need to happen. They're gonna happen. They're gonna happen. They, yeah, they're going to. Yeah, it's not. And that's what. That's why we keep saying the same thing. Because it's not that it needs to happen. It's gonna happen. That's yeah. maybe what it's, I mean. What needs to happen that's is what I mean. we Learning need to for, fucking learn. Yeah. Yeah, that's the point. Well, that's yeah. why yeah. I, I say it needs yeah. to happen yeah. just for the sake of learning. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. That's, yeah. Why. that's yeah. why. That's yeah. why. Yeah. That's why. And it is inevitable. Yes. Because yeah. What we need. What we need is to learn. Not everybody on the planet is a fucking saint, dude. Like it's just not. And we have to. Apparently, people don't get that yet. It's impossible. <laughs> like to, to everybody is a fucking perfect saint. No, I mean like Gandhi. Like I can't even. Gandhi. I, I don't but, even talk about him anymore wait, because I don't know what to say. Like exactly. I don't. Gandhi's. Ga- from what I understand, a large part, part, a part of India doesn't fuck with Gandhi. Yeah, he's, but like, there's still so many people. Like, he's a controversial so- person. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he fucked up shit. Yeah. Because he was. I don't know the history, but he wasn't totally in the best interest of everybody. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know. He, sure, I mean? sure. He helped the liberation, but I think there's been multiple reports of him uh hating black people yes which Racism. apparently he was he turned on that later in his life or i don't know he hated black people and women. i'm not surprised i don't remember which one he one of them he started fucking he, with. yeah but then also <laughs> one of them yeah but then Probably also the uh people. to to prove he wasn't like a pedophile or something he slept naked with his like 13 year old niece or and, something and this is like very that's crazy open information like this isn't a rumor or he anything. slept to prove yes. that he wouldn't do anything yeah. yes ian so it's kind of like he tried to say because I don't get a boner with my niece here, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, when I seen that, I was like, Yo. that's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, I'm not gonna speak on this guy's name. That's, 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 yeah. that's and that's the situation where you're like. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> if you want to defend them, have fun. <laughs> Leave over yeah. there. You know what I mean? That's kind of wild. That yeah. makes sense. Cancel that behavior. That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? You can. Ca- I already. I can't even say a product of its time. You like, can't even. You can't even come no, up with an there's excuse. There's nowhere in time no, yeah, where exactly. that's normal. Yeah. You can't even come up with an excuse. <laughs> <for> like, <laughs> normal. Yeah, bro, it made sense. Like yeah. you had to lay down with it. <laughs> no, it doesn't make. You any did what sense. you had to do, bro. No, <laughs> bro, you did it. You, you Nobody could, told I mean, you, yo. You have to do wait, it. You bro. weren't even half hard. <laughs> Shit, yo. That's no, you just that's Not, canceled. I mean, but oh. also, like, how the fuck was someone watching the whole time, like, yeah. trying to prove it? I don't know. Man. Gandhi didn't do anything. We don't know, Ian. I don't want to get into oh, it. Man. Yeah, that's really fucking. We weird. don't live yeah. in a perfect. But yeah, world. from what I understand, yeah. Uh, and then I remember too, like uh, the the Martin Luther yeah. King movie. Uh, people had problems with it because they showed like his adultery or whatever, and it's like, okay. what do you expect? Demasi- do you expect people to be perfect saints? People think they're very saints, man. People don't, I don't, people don't understand the people in power. They have faults, man. <laughs> they don't get it. They don't. They don't get it. People think you don't think Martin Luther King had woman at him. I have to say time? this again, people. The everything you that you so. know was created by a group of dudes. Your parents, your parents. If you're coming from a heterosexual family, it's just some guy and some girl like <laughs> that. Just like liked each other. They just liked each other at a time. They maybe don't even like each other anymore. Maybe your parents probably don't even fucking like each other anymore. They're just sticking together for you, like yeah, yeah, really, and for your sanity. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and because there was no other, uh, there's no other Jeez. opinion at the yeah. time. You know, it's like yeah, I, I, I gotta. I mean, your dad or your mom, they went out, might have fucked somebody, maybe, maybe got caught, maybe didn't. It, it's life, man. It happens. It's real. Like, I mean, yeah, we're we're human, and majority, we make mistakes. Very rarely does does do humans really only like one person ever. Like exactly. that's like not actually not natural. Technically, it's not natural. How many not, people did you like growing up? You didn't just like one person forever. We can have the life. monogamy and like. Uh, conversation. Another, I think if another you, pod. Yeah. I think if you uh, um, if you were to like categorize like all the great thinkers in history and get their opinion on like. Uh, polyamorousness or monogamy they would be split like i feel like it's 50 50 like yeah. it's not it's a really it's never a thing it's not a thing where it's like oh you're a you know you're a you're the wisest person in the world like they're like philosophical geniuses like people who are like you know they're considered the 
thinkers of their generation and you know, they believe in, in yeah your, like you could fuck everybody some yeah. religions <laughs> don't want it some yeah. religions are cool with it yeah some religions don't care where did your religion come from some religions encourage it like some religions yeah. are like uh, thank you you have to like most exactly. wives and yeah stuff. yeah i don't exactly. want to get into it but yeah. yes yes <laughs> the animals are doing it yeah we come from the animals so yeah I and mean, that's another conversation actually i like to have that conversation we kind of did with blur that day but not we didn't get too in depth with it we get signed that could be half a pod but um <laughs> yeah with could. maybe another person <laughs> yeah but people don't get it man people don't get that they're just a, a person and this world that's bigger than them yeah. and they're a speck in time not even a speck yeah i uh, think everybody every yeah. adult that i've thought about uh, like who has been an adult when i was a kid i've thought back and been like oh okay that's why they did because they're a fucking idiot like that's why they did that you Damn know because it. i remember having a uh thought at the time as a kid and being like wait why are they doing this they're an yeah. adult and then you think back as an adult and you're like oh because they were just when, fucking idiots yeah when you get to this age <laughs> you start realizing oh shit like they're actually idiots. Yeah, I'm You're realizing. I realize this yeah. now. Like, if you work in, um, if you work in a, a job where you where you communicate with the public a lot, a lot you're gonna find out that a lot of adults are really fucking dumb. Yeah, and then you're gonna think they have children who yes. probably think they're great. Yeah, <laughs> but they come into my store yeah. and they're complete yep. buffoons. Yeah. Yes, like complete idiots. People don't understand. But they go that. home after today mm -hmm. and their fucking daughter they're or, or, yeah. or 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 son or at any age. My daddy's a superhero. They think they're dope. Like yeah. nope. you, know, you know everything. I got but you come into my mom. store and yeah. you're a fucking idiot. Yeah. <laughs> like no, and no. most people probably think you're an idiot. Yep. <laughs> That's how it works, man. Yeah. Like, people, it's kind of wild. They're just people at the end and of the day. You'd be really surprised how many adults are really dumb. Yeah, bro. Are they just it's like common sense shit. It's you know? dumb like, common sense. They just do stupid shit I'm once sure in a while. Like successful, they have a great job, but like you're dumb. But like day to day <laughs> stuff, like you're kind of doing some crazy dumb. That's shit. what I'm saying. And people don't get this, like, man. Again, we're looking. <laughs> let's hop back to other issues that are going on in the world. The police, like, like they're just a group of dudes and mm -hmm. girls, like that put on a uniform every day. They just yeah. put on a uniform every day. They some of yeah. them have been there longer than the others, and yeah, they're yeah. in higher positions now because of certain shit that they've done. And yeah. it doesn't mean that like, they're great that, people. Before that job, before that. <laughs> Police job, they could have been like been a bus boy at some bar or whatever. Yeah, and mm -hmm. then they got and a lot of them were doing shitty jobs, and then they become cops. Yeah, a lot of cops do shitty jobs in the U.S. A lot of them do have side gigs where they do work at bars and shit, and security and stuff. Exactly. So, yeah. They're idiot doctors. Like, they're idiot lawyers. Everybody's a fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts, it's <laughs> fine. It You're what? an idiot too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you listening? You're an idiot. <laughs> I and mean, you might not think you're an idiot in your life, but in some, to somebody else's, somebody else's perspective, you're fucking stupid. If you can't, if you haven't looked at yourself and said, "Oh shit, I'm an idiot," yeah, then you're not you you you're full of yourself. Like you yeah. haven't fully like yeah. you haven't like fully analyzed yourself. Yeah, exactly. You're like Donald Trump and what he thinks exactly, of himself, yeah. which is amazing. You are <laughs> yeah. all the time. You're not you're not who you think you are in yeah. the world. You are other people's perspectives of you. That's what you are. Because. You're not telling people about you. People mm -hmm. are telling other people about you. And that's exactly. how word gets out. You know what yeah. I mean? That's how they know about Jamal. That's how they know about certain people from their perspective. I'm sure I'm an asshole to or a dickhead exactly. or a fucking yeah. idiot yeah. or yeah. a dumbass or a failure to certain people. For sure. And to other people? Sure. Nah, Jamal's a cool dude. He's awesome. You know what I mean? You ever think about the opinion of, what, of all the time? Your opinion of other people. Sometimes Sorry, I thought yeah, about like you know oh, just like you? Uh, like a one -off, you know like a one-off interaction with you know somebody yeah. like a mailman or whatever, and you're like oh sh you know I was like tired that day and I said yeah, something stupid, said something and stupid. I'm like wow this guy is gonna you know remember I'm me as an idiot for my yeah. entire life now. Right? And but little like, moments, you know, I'm I'm yeah. working a retail job. You you'll get a customer that comes in that's pissed for yeah. whatever reason, and now I'm looking at you like. This person's whole life, it's you're angry. fucking angry yeah. and stupid and dumb. Yeah. But they meanwhile, they could walk out and they could just be having a bad day exactly. because they're, they're, they're son, the nicest person ever. Their yeah. son spilled their Starbucks all in the back of their new whip. And I get it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that yeah. shit happens and you're mad. Like, yeah. Yeah. But now, in my world, you're an asshole. Yeah. You know? And that's you're it. Gonna, and that's okay. You're going to see the same person think they're a dick. Yeah. Could have been having a bad day. He was a dick to me that one time. People get angry. And that's how you are to other people. People are going to now see you as a dick because you had a you were mad at your son and you took it out on somebody else. Mm -hmm. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. 
the only thing you can do is like know that know those moments of like okay i was i was angry that yeah. day and i was yeah. snapping at people who didn't i've you know, i've done that and if i ever had the opportunity i always reach out to those people my bad like yeah sorry just quick sorry like that's all it takes really I was just Some not in the right space. You ever have someone get angry at you and say you work in retail or whatever, you get someone get angry at you and then they apologize later? Yeah. The same the same day too and shit. Yeah, I've had that happen. The same before. like they're still with you and they suddenly apologize. Yeah, yeah. I've I've had that. That. I find that I've cute. Had that before. That's cute. <laughs> That's cute, yeah. hug, yeah. You're just fucking trying to kill me for yeah. just doing my I've even job. Had, and I still I've even asking. had coworkers like that. You know what I mean? You have yeah, coworkers yeah. where they're just having a bad day, and you're working. They're taking out on other people, even customers and shit like that. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. they're like shit. Like they go to the back like, shit. my bad. Like I'm just not in the mood. Shit, like yo, like just, you like. Uh, yeah. It's just we're just happens. we're just emotional humans, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, man. Sometimes I think about. Uh, uh, have you watched that Atlanta episode where they're like, uh, where it's like him as kid, where he's, he's a kid again? I haven't seen that one, no. It's like, uh, the, you know, it's just like little layers where it's like, you see like this this girl walk in and she's like, you know, upset one day mm-hmm. and uh, she's like crying and like I, I, vivid memories of people who, kids who have just walked in and they mm-hmm. just, you know, they put their head down on their desk the whole day and they're like snap at the teacher. Yeah. And then the next day they're like bright, you know, and they're mm-hmm. like, it's the best day of their lives and you're like, wow, like. You don't know what happens when these kids go home. Exactly. You know, and like, you don't know what happened to them 20, like the difference between your morning routine and their morning routine could have been like so much different, you know, like they could have seen some of the most traumatic shit ever, but you're both going to the same classroom and it's yeah. like. People and, and people are reacting they're, differently. They're getting bullied and yeah. like, it's, it, you know, that's just, it's just what happens, you yeah, know, like sorry, you might have bullied them and it's like. Exactly. If someone's having you know? the moment, exactly. you got to step back and just. Be like, just assume that this is like a temporary thing. Yeah. This isn't who they are. I've had, I think that's fair to do. Yeah, because right? I've, I've had like coworkers that are my friends snap on me. And I've been offended in the moment. But then I took it as like, you know what? This person hasn't really done that to me before. Yeah. Maybe they're just in a bad mood. I feel like it's easier when we're adults. But if you think about school, there are kids who like just had bad years. Like bad years, there are bro. kids who like every day of high school were just shitty for them. Or bro, like, and that's why I say I hear I hear some people talk about high school, and I'm like, <laughs> shit, man, high school is kind of lit for me. Like, <laughs> and I hear some people like, no, high school, high school was like every worst day, time of my life. every yeah, day. Yeah, like, that was the bane of my existence. Out, you know? Like I hated yeah. that shit. Like and I was like, shit, yo. And I'm like, damn, bro. I, I yeah. didn't like high school. Yeah, you know what I mean? But in my I, world, high school was sick. Not because I was having like a bad life or anything. I just didn't like going yeah, to school. Yeah, you didn't like going to school and shit. I just didn't like going to school yeah. that much uh, later on. More, it was more like mm-hmm. I can't imagine 11, 12, having I to wake up at 7 a.m. and hate my life. You know, mm-hmm. I just wake it, woke up at 7 a.m. and I just didn't want to go to school, exactly. you know? But like, yeah. like yeah. It's, People have good days, people have bad days, and people react to and shit. And the thing is, is just like, yeah, these, these kids, you know, like it's a lot easier to obviously, as a kid, not know why you're going through these things or like... Mm-hmm. Obviously, as a kid, you, you can't be like, okay, yeah, I'm just having a bad day today. You think that's your whole world. Mm-hmm. But there are people who grow up and they don't know the difference. They don't know how to acknowledge, okay, yeah, I'm just having a bad moment right now. Yeah. You know? I'll even tell you guys something even deeper than that. Like, um, my girl, she's a teacher and uh, she's told me of like just some of the students and some of the shit that they're going through. And she always feels so bad because she's like, I've done all this stuff in a day to be as kind and as everything to you. And just make sure you have a good day. But then you find out when they go back home, they're having issues. Like you were just saying just now. And there was one kid that literally he witnessed his mom commit suicide. Mm. And he had to come to school the next day. Really? They couldn't give the kid a day off? No. Why did the kid have to go? Because they didn't have anybody to care of him. So they had to send him to school. Oh, fuck. (laughs) Like, And I'm like, that's crazy. You know what I mean? And then after that, he didn't have to come to school for a little bit after that. But then he came back and... But that, the day he came back, he was, was just like quiet. Mad, he was just he was weird, you know. What I, and not weird. I should say weird. Clearly traumatized. You can but, use the word weird. But he was just out of it. You know what I mean? Like, can you imagine being yeah. in that situation, going home after that? You're already having a good day or whatever. You know what I mean? Somebody's your teachers kind of tried to set you up to have a good day, and then you get back home and then a tragedy like that happens. Like that's uh, that's just life, bro. That, that is life. Yeah, man. That is life. That's tragic part. And of that's life. because that person's mom is having a bad day. You know what I mean? They're feeling a certain way about themselves. Mm. That's just... Yeah. I don't know, man. There's a lot more to people and I feel like everything we talked about today kind of all goes back to the cancel culture stuff but it's just like... Yeah, it's so complicated. It's just like... Don't you just wish that everyone Humans are just, just so be complicated. Right? I don't know why... I don't know... We're all so complicated. I don't know why we try to make things black and white. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. there's a lot of gray area. <laughs> there's a yeah. lot of gray area. I just wish that everyone could just be like... 
cool with like everything yeah. that's going on around them. Yeah, man. I wish. It's Bro, like so. It's like impossible. Like you no. just can't. It's like it's, it's not just, a thing where it's like you have like, to understand what somebody's going through. You just have to be like, oh yeah, okay, I'm going through something. I have something too. That empathy. I, yeah, I have something too where it's like I can't really explain to people. You know. That's how, how I live my life. Like, I live my life thinking I have stuff going on in my life that yeah. I know. Sp- Pressures, stress, yeah. this and so that. So there's like and a ninety nine. There's a ninety nine point nine percent chance that person next to you is doing exactly. is going through some weird shit. Yeah. And if it it's doesn't not, need to if be it's this not at this moment, yeah. it might be in five and years. And it doesn't need to be related at all. Yeah. You know? And it might not everyone, even be invisible. Everyone's yeah. going to lose someone they love at some point. Yep. Everyone's going to experience some fuck shit. Everyone's yep. going to probably have an accident that might affect them for a little bit. I was thinking about that the other day. People like, go through mental health issues, blah, 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 blah. Like so people it's who gonna happen. Uh, you know, work in like senior homes or like doctors. or yeah. there, are, there are people who choose to be around so much more death than anybody else. Anybody else. Facts. And there are people who don't choose even to be Even this guy's girl. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, and then there are also people who are just born into death yeah. like they yeah. just can't escape it they like, can't escape it you know and it's like you just have to be you have to be aware of the things that you were given in life and the things that are different but then like the fact that everybody has those things that yeah in a share. different way yeah yeah you know? everyone has their shit in a different way yeah like, i don't know man like i just feel like it's a lot easier to look at life like everybody has problems yeah therefore if somebody acts out one day it might not necessarily be because of you like yeah, yeah. And, and don't and uh, i think a lot of people's stress is and social media like fuels this fire and i think people are always caught up in what other people are doing mm-hmm. and it stresses them out and it's, blah 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 is doing great blah 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 is doing this my life sucks makes me more depressed go on instagram oh this person is like at a party having fun i'm at home doing nothing i'm a fucking loser get they get into their you head like head, that yeah. they get into their head like that we got to mm-hmm. realize that like Half that shit's fake on social media, first of all. But second of all, you don't know how actually great that person's life is, though. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. It's just like, like mm-hmm. you don't actually know what they're going through. Exactly. Like, they, their life actually, they, and they actually wake up in the morning, look in the mirror, and be like, fuck. Let's man, get nasty with I the, hate my Let's life get nasty with that story. Life. You, That person might be at home thinking, oh, that party's lit. That person must be having the greatest time of that night. Their life. That person could have been assaulted at that fucking party, yeah. and that was the worst day of their life. Yeah, yeah, facts. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. People don't look at the the whole fucking picture. Like you don't know what's going on in other people's lives a lot of the time. So yeah, or like not yeah, like most people, not most people, but like people post because they need the attention or they need most of the time because they're down and they need somebody to like, pick them up. You mm-hmm. know, and it's it's not a bad thing to have a call for attention. I'm sure everybody's you know it's posted fine. posted a story. To to, you yes. know, yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, post whatever. selfies. We you know, yeah, I'll get a one two angry, yeah, you know, or a, or a quick uh, thing to show off, yeah, whatever. It makes sense, uh, but yeah, that's the thing is like you, you have to assume that, like, because I, I think about the night, like, my favorite nights is like I never pulled out my phone type of thing, you yeah, know what I mean, thanks. like, and that's just me thinking thanks. from a personal perspective. It's, I'm not shitting on people who sh- film their whole night if they're having fun, but there, I've I also know people who were filming the whole night and they fucking hated yeah, the, the hated whole it. night and they know? didn't even get to experience, yeah, shit. exactly, yeah. Mm-hmm. Or and, or they were going through something and they were trying to just pretend, you know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because that's the easiest thing to do is when you're down is try and take your social media life and pretend that everything's all right because it'll tr- mm-hmm. make you feel better. But yeah, one hundred percent. Big ass sigh. Ooh. Y'all are annoying, bro. <laughs> <laughs> just humans. Oh, humans in general. Yeah, humans are annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I want to touch on something. It's a sneak diss, so I won't say the person's name fully. But Jesus. I saw somebody that, um, and we could totally have a conversation. Sneak diss of the week. <clears throat> we could totally have a conversation with that person if they see this and they want to talk. Talk. Then we wow. can. We can talk on the pod too. But I saw a person um, that was going that had some turmoil with somebody. We all know about the situation, and they decided to react on social media. Uh, through a live stream and also comment uh, not the greatest things on a person's uh, post that wasn't really involved. You know what I mean? And it's shit like that. That's just really annoying. It's just like, these are conversations that could be had behind closed doors. These are not, this is not a big fucking deal. This is not an expose. Yeah. (laughs) Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, man. People just like to act out and seem big online, but really, I could slap you up. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's a difference. And that's what I mean. Like, me, there's a difference between me and that person, and I'll put hands on you. (laughs) Yeah. You know what I mean? (laughs) That's what I mean. Like, that's it. I posted up a thing today. (laughs) Uh, This this song that dropped, I can't remember the guy's name. I think it's Toby 
Toby Nugay or something like that, or uh, Nubier, uh, an African dude. Mm-hmm. And it was called Try Jesus. And then the song is like, Try Jesus, not me, because I throw hands. And I was like, that's facts. That's <laughs> I was like, that's, bro, that's, gross. that's facts. Because that's the difference. That's the difference with a lot of people, bro. They want to try you and try you, push all your buttons. But they're not ready to get slapped upside their head. You know what I mean? They're not ready. To and watch them deteriorate so quick. Yeah, and I'm that guy. So as soon as you test that, you. Uh, you test the waters there, and uh, mm-hmm. they'll like, uh, whoo, they'll be back. Yep. They'll be in a corner. Yuppers. <laughs> they're the victim now. <laughs> Yuppers. Exactly. And then I look crazy. Yeah. And then, you know what I mean? And then you look bad. That's yeah. why. That's why I always just try to keep to myself and try to mind my own business. Yeah. Like I even had some family over to my house yesterday, pissing me off, bro. <laughs> Pissing me off. And I get it. Like, you guys are drunk, you're having fun, whatever. But they're making stupid sly comments as I'm walking by. <laughs> really? And, yeah, just stupid shit. Stupid fucking shit. Okay, and it's okay. like... Weird. And I was, I was actually heated, bro. I just chilled in my room all day. I tried to chill in my room. Jeez. And then I went outside. I tried to go outside to have... Good, to go hit the vape so I could relax. And the person was outside. That's I'm like, toxic environment. Yeah, man, and 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 I was thinking to myself, I I would love to just dump some water on my family member's head right yeah. now. Shit. You know what I mean? But and if the only I did, person you're saving is them, and yeah. it's like you don't. It's like you don't even get yeah. anything out of it by exactly. not saying anything. But it's exactly, like, and it's like it's like I could I could dump water on your head. I could call you out of your name. I could do all this crazy shit to you. But I'd look crazy, so yeah. fuck it. Let me just go back upstairs. Yeah, I didn't even go outside and be the me. bad guy. I'm yeah. the bad guy because I made right a away. scene, yeah. even though this person's been talking shit all day. You know yeah. what I mean? But, you know, that's just me trying to be a bigger person, better person. But uh, next time I will say some shit. So <laughs> Yeah, don't let people walk over you. Definitely not. Um, episode. Yeah, do what you got to do. This is 44. <laughs> yeah, episode 44. We're running out of time. Three minutes. We're running out of time. Wanna, you want to end it here or go? Uh, we don't have to go to the next right. like, segment. We'll wrap it up here. Right. Thank you for listening. Uh, good talks. Yeah, man. Good bunch talks. Bunch of controversial topics that... Uh, I don't even I'm say glad. controversial. I say human topics. Human yeah. topics. <laughs> controversial meaning there's going to be different sides to yeah. these topics. There's going to be people who... But I'm hoping we get a human response. There might be people who very much disagree with last shit we said, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to go, but I don't care. Yeah, I don't we're, care. We're, we're just speaking from the heart. Yeah. And, uh, you know. We're genuine about what we're doing. Again, yeah. we're open to conversations. Like If you feel like you disagree, talk to us. Don't cancel me. And the thing too, we said it last week, but like, I don't, we don't rehearse what we say. So it's like, I don't, I'm pretty sure everything we said, we're not standing by it. <laughs> like yeah. We're trying to just have yeah. a conversation. conversation. Like, it's not it's like true. we're coming with these like fully formed opinions that we back up and we believe. Of it's course. we're actually just trying to put things out and yeah, op- and open it up. This and is not see a structured what, you know. pod, yeah. so it is off the top of our head. Blah blah blah. So it's yeah, yeah. you know, it's not. I feel like people, especially, and I think that's a problem with with Twitter too. Is like people can get the mix up between like somebody just feeling a just saying something and somebody having like a very strong opinion about mm-hmm. something. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. facts. Yeah, um, we're just lost in talks. Lost in talks, pretty much. Forty four. Forty four. Thank you all for listening. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, Great pod. Thank you. We'll catch you the next one. Hopefully, hopefully, you are not one of the. People are just canceling people out of nowhere for no reason. If there's a reason, go for it. But yeah, let's uh let's try to be more human about our approach to things yeah, and it's not always be mature because again, the adults around us, you as an adult, you're being dumb. I get it, yo. Dumb. Some people like to be. It's fun to be part of a witch hunt sometimes, yo. But just like, oh uh, yeah, it's lit, man. Like just uh, that's human nature, actually. But mm-hmm. yeah, think about witch hunts. They were used that, to that, that's like a real think, thing. Think about witch hunts, bro. Like you got one yeah. minute. <laughs> <laughs> if you they would put a stone around your your ankle if you fell in and sank and died you weren't a witch if you Crazy. survived you were a witch and they killed so you either anyway. way Crazy. you were fucked yeah, yeah. oh my god <laughs> that were the those were the witch trials yeah man <laughs> that's what cancer culture is. exactly people are fucking stupid oh, shit. Right. you don't get you're dumb you're dumb <laughs> all right yo, we'll catch you guys on the next one deuces <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>